Here we go. D just listen to this. And then we could chime in. Tell me if he's spitting facts or not. Just spam as you're hearing it live. Is this facts? Or like this thing is capping? Nigga, stop asking for Kendrick update. That nigga never dropped the music. Let's get let's get to this shit. Horton Wells has teamed up with hip hop new yourself or talent. You know one all right, what were you saying? No, and I was saying that um, the reason why I'm doing my podcast called Checking In is because I don't, I'm not, I don't want to gun the people down for, you know, wanting to be, wanting to say something or having a story. I don't want to go sensationalize what they do on the Quavo. You know what I mean? Like, who can't see the Quavo didn't hurt this girl? Who right. can't see the Quavo was trying to get his property back? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but if, what, where does a man stand in this world? Does a man stand in the fact that, look, basically it's a robbery. She taking this thing. Now, if he called the police, he's a bitch, nigga. <laughs> that is facts. It's a fucking robbery. You steal my PS4, man? <laughs> you know how many fucking skins and DLCs Quavo got on that account? This is a robbery, bitch. That nigga Quavo been probably grinding. Yo, yo, y'all ever grinded a game? Y'all ever grinded a game? You see, you see, like, women don't give two fucks about that, right? And also, like, you ever had a girl who, like, she want to argue? I seen Flight's girl trying to do to him. She's trying to argue with you, right? She comes in the room, and then, like, you, you, you don't want to argue because that's, like, that's woman's specialty. And the first thing she says, I'll turn off your game. Or I'll break your monitor. Or I'll break the PS4. Y'all know any girl like that? Just listen to this shit. This thing is making sense. Yo, like when I when I hear shit that makes sense, I don't care who the messenger is. Yo, this shit is obvious. Yo, Saweetie was trying to rob Quavo. <laughs> Bruh, it says Call of Duty. It doesn't say Sephora. It doesn't say Hermes Birkin. It's Call of Duty, my nigga got all type of skins, deals, yo. Like, think about it. He's trying to rob the nigga, that wasn't a narrative. I ain't gonna lie, I was fooled at first, because I was like, fuck. The first thing I looked at it, I said, oh, they're about to kill me, because I was backing up Quavo with how she tried to violate him. So they about to, you know, like, trust me, I told you, I sweetie leaked this fucking video that people could be like, oh, shit, Quavo's, he's abusive. I'm telling you, when that shit ain't work, she, she tried to back off. Oh, oh, my God. I don't know how that got out. Nigga, this shit came from your apartment. Yo, think about this. Who who put this video up? The video came from Sweetie's apartment complex. It's not a hotel. Sweetie lives in that, in, that, in that building. That's Sweetie's building. It's over a year old. Who the hell found that video? Nigga, Sweetie been at it. Like, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Let's keep listening, though, because your nigga is kicking some knowledge. Tell me if, if any time you hear him say cap, spam cap. If he's spitting facts, just keep spamming facts. I mean, he whooped, he whooped, whooped. He could have had But if you get your stuff back and leave it alone at that, and you move on out the elevator with getting your property back, you're still vilified. Yeah. So that's, that's how you help hip-hop. But we... You can't champion that because if you champion that, then people that's in the power and so well, I mean, he still should have never touched her. He could have handled it a different way. Yeah, what? Letting her take his property? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I mean, and, and and we talk about this woman thing, man. We live in a woman's world, just to keep it 100. We live in a, we live in a I ain't going to lie. He starts spitting facts right here. Yo, it's crazy when, when, when I be still looking on Twitter and be like, oh, my God, I don't treat women right. Nigga, if you have anything, the only niggas that don't live in a woman's world is the bum thugs who are in and out of jail who still are putting hands on women, talking to them. Anybody else, if you got something to lose, you are at the mercy of women. I just seen some ex NBA players supposedly put hands on women. That nigga life over. It's over. It's over. I'm telling you, he talking truth. This is a woman's world. If you got something to lose, 
Because I know mad niggas that got nothing, nothing to lose and they love prison, oh, they beat their girl up all the time. And that's an, that's an unfortunate situation because they're not thinking, like, about what they got to lose when they're dealing with women. But for most people, nigga, I don't even want to get in an argument with a girl. I'm thinking about everything I got to lose. Listen to this shit. Tell me if he's spitting facts or he's capping. World right now, bro. I mean, look at certain situations with other people. You can't even take a woman... You can't buy a woman to drink no more. No. Nope. Because that could turn to something else. If you smoke with a woman and get high with a woman and go have sex with her, that could turn to something else. If, if you mm -hmm. invite a woman to a threesome, which that could turn into something else. Mm -hmm. And if you go get a hotel, that could turn to something else. Dang. And then don't let no, no female fly out of town with you, my nigga. And you <laughs> pay for the plane ticket. <laughs> Well, with that being said, turn into something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Where are we in? Where are we, man? And it's just hip hop. Like I was, listening, I was looking at the governor, and he was saying, "Man, we the governor of New York, man, we in the council world." And I and 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 I hate to feel like this, but I can't let no woman work for me that ain't my family no more. I only uh, want your family. By the way, that's that's fucked up. That niggas gotta even have that opinion. He's saying he like he don't want nobody that's a woman to work for him unless her family, because he's just thinking about the dynamic that could be exploited where he, where maybe he isn't meaning or like he's not trying to do anything perverted or whatever whatever, but it could be seen as that. Like like this is not even gay. But, like, if, 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 if y'all work at a job, everybody wears suits. And, and a nigga come in dressed like Shannon Sharp one day. You might be like, yo, bro, you look sharp. Like, okay, cool. That, that's a compliment. You say to a chick, like, yo, that's a nice dress. You feel me? She might be like, yo, you looking at her ass. She might report you to the HR. Get that nigga out of here, man. Get that nigga out of here, man. That nigga just complimented me on, like, yo, hold up. Get this thing out of here, man. That's what. That's true. Nigga, we shook. <laughs> Bruh, I'm telling you, listen to this shit. Okay, and, and, and what else, what attitude can we take? Right. Oh, that sex is racist. But guess what? You won't be suing me. Right. Yep. You won't be saying, if I say you have a nice dress on, you look good today. Oh, my God. He just approached me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he assaulted me. Oh, come on, man. Now, now you know Ti. I'm sure you're good friends with Ti, right? Um, what do you think about what he's yeah. going through right now in the media with that um, certain situation similar yes. to that? Hey man, listen, man. I don't want to get accused of nothing. Whether you're curling or crunching. Chat, y'all gotta let me know. Is he spin facts so far? I'm gonna put it back on. Is he spin facts so far? Come on now. Mm, I hear you. Word <laughs> <Pour it> up. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Can't face it out here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, man, you can't even take. Let me just say this to you. Mm -hmm. We in an era now where you can't even meet a woman in a bar, and I'll say it again. Nah, baby, I'm gonna need you to get sober, go home, come back, sign this paperwork yes, saying yo. that we about to have oral sex. And, to, and everything we about to do and how long we gonna do it and then it's a situation where if a woman even if you having sex with the woman she can say stop in the middle of the third stroke and you gotta stop like what wait a minute <laughs> the fucking oh, thing you know where we at? This, this hip <laughs> the fuck? on a deeper level though it's almost like they don't want women and men fucking at all and they putting that on our babies so, I'm how, putting how it on we, the babies, man. Look, it's a it's a cancer culture. Yeah. How do we how do we combat that? I don't know what to do, man. Moment. I'm fifty four. I'm fifty four years old. I'm closer to getting out of this mug than I am coming in. This kind of gonna be y'all's to deal with for the next twenty five <laughs> years. I'm married. I ain't got to deal with no women in no way. You know what I mean? I'm out. To, I'm, I'm out the game, but I just feel for my sons. You know what I mean? I feel my sons. I feel for y'all. Um, I'm writing a story that kind of. I'm writing a story that kind of deals with that. You know what I mean? I got 
two more documentaries I'm doing. I got uh, a movie I'm doing. I just launched my own. Uh, my, I just relaunched my music label, um, Unique Distribution. So I got a big distribution company for people to be able to distribute music. Um, so I'm I'm, I'm I'm moving in that way, but my my whole love and my my passion is film. That's how I made the documentary, and and I think that's the question y'all mixed. How did this documentary get made? It got made because I've been doing film now for the last 17 yeah. years. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it, I wasn't in music. I hadn't been in music until Nipsey called me back in the music. Right. You know what I mean? I had dabbled in music, dabbled in arts, but after Sandman died, I, I kind of left music alone. And so... I signed up to be... Chat, I ain't gonna lie, I, I think he was spitting facts. Gotta be honest with you. Think he was spitting some facts right there. What the fuck? Hold on, let me just. What the hell am I doing? Give me one second, I bet. Give me one second. Okay, cool. All right, anyway, uh, yeah. What else y'all talking about? Yeah, yeah, chat, yeah, uh, I got unfortunate news today. Actually, 6 9 hit me up and, and told me. Uh, his former security, uh, Shadow... The underscore shadow group passed away today. He's he's protected the likes of Six Nine, Jake Paul, Ray Schremmerd, a lot of people. And he passed away today. I, I I got rumors that you know, allegedly he um, suffered a heart attack while in the gym. Not too sure how accurate that is, but I know he just had a, a, a um a new baby boy. I could tell you this about Shadow. Um, very good dude. In 2018, where when Six Nine was probably the most demanded body or pack, um, he was protecting him. They were rolling bulletproof cars, and. You know me, I wasn't trying to go nowhere near 6 9 I was like, yo, we're FaceTime friends. But, you know, when I did go around him, these gentlemen um, that is that works for this guy's company, it's called the Shadow Group. That's a security team that secured him. Um, they took not only good care of him, but me as well, you know. Bulletproof vehicle, everything. I remember vividly, we went to a Hispanic club and... I would tell you, this nigga was on his job, man. Yo, he removed a nigga from the club for just staring at 6 9 too long. Like, it was like a nigga, he was kind of like, I don't, know if, I don't know if the nigga was mean mugging 6 9 or it was like the nigga was just like like on fan mode, like it's 6 9 type shit, right? But obviously, like, he, this nigga got like fucking Secret Service, Navy SEAL. These niggas is like, 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 like these niggas is doing all type of, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you, you can imagine, right? And, um, yeah, like, I don't even think 6 9 was a little lit. He ain't even realize what, what, um, what happened, but they removed the motherfucker from the club. I remember Shoddy was in the same, like, venue as well. You know, Shoddy was never in love with security. Shoddy always thought he was security. You feel me? Shoddy always looked at it like, yo, if shit get real, I'm doing the shooting. So I'm the real security. But um yeah no Shadow really good guy you know I think I think his last run with Six Nine was when they went to Dubai. Um, remember I told you last stream he's the one who introduced me to Young and Ace. He's the one who yo he said act yo you know I've treated you well when when I've been around you he said yo could you help post this guy for me and that was Young and Ace so you know very sad news I heard today that he passed away. Um, I seen Slim Jimmy and Ray and, and um, 
Sway Lee on his page sending condolences to his wife. Uh, but he allegedly passed away due to a heart attack in the gym. Which, by the way, I ain't gonna lie to you, I literally sat for like about 30 minutes and thought about my own health. Because this nigga got like a 10-pack. He's big as fuck, muscly, and like... He works out like probably half the day unless he's like doing some security shit. And I'm like, damn, if he passed away from like a heart attack in the gym, like shit, you never know, bro. You never know. So, you know, um, rest in peace, of Shadow. I have nothing but positive things to say about you. Um, and, and I hope, you know, everything you've worked for goes to your um, wife and your newborn kid. And I hope that your legacy continues and maybe even the business that you established because he owns the business um, that was plugged in with protecting all these secure, securing all these celebrities. Hopefully that could still remain in the family somewhat. OK. All right. Rest in peace, Shadow. Um, What else? What else? What else? I forgot to talk about. Chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. you Y'all wanna talk about young boy for a second? I wanna talk about it. Y'all go to my Instagram page, which I'm I'm hoping most of y'all follow. I posted pictures of young boy today in jail. And instantly most of the pictures, you know, most of the comments, like for example, when he out of jail in public, this is his face in jail. That's his face. People like, you look like he's having too much fun. Free goat. He's dropping a soap daily. This little blah, 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 blah. Whatever, whatever. Yo, now, I'm going to be honest with you. I think everybody's reading these photos wrong. And there's more photos. I'll show you the rest of them because I posted some more. Like, this is another picture. He looks like he's in good spirits, right? Except this picture right here. He, he looked like he's a little stressed. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think young boy's having a good time in prison. I don't think he likes being in jail. Like, you know, it, you know, the internet is such a toxic place that it's crazy that people would even think that young boy likes jail. He's clearly smiling because he's talking to somebody who he misses. He's clearly smiling because somebody's reaching out or accepting his calls. Like, that's clearly what it is. Whether it's a girlfriend, his mama, his lawyer, a friend, somebody in the free world that, you know, again, shit, just being incarcerated and talking to people who have been incarcerated for long periods of time, they, they, they're usually happier than the person that comes to visit them because they're in that situation and they actually feel like really lucky that people still care about them. You get me? So uh, I, it was a little disappointing to see people thinking that, yo, young boy is having the time of his life in jail. Hey, if anything, this is more of a humbling experience. Like young boy moves very, I don't, don't want to say bougie or nothing like that, but young boy lives a very high profile life. You feel me? Somebody described that y the way how young boy lives and moves around, you would assume these dudes are like Jay-Z. You feel me? Like, and I can't really, I don't want to really share all of these stories be, just because of the situation he's in. But somebody told me a story of when they went to visit him at his studio in New York and just how shit was. And they were like, yo, just chaotic. But but he he's used to life on a larger than regular shit level you know what i mean and um i could imagine him being locked up every time is a little bit humbling so i i would think that he's happy that people you know are on the on, on the free side of the world trying to make sure he's good okay <laughs> all right um look at y'all y'all just spamming every single thing but yeah i didn't want to say uh did y'all see that did y'all see the watch? I was going to do a video on it. I don't, I don't know if y'all cared about it. So, and I wanted to know what y'all opinion is. Is this censorship 
or this is the right thing to do. So YG, and I'll and I bring it to Spotify right now. So because of like the stop the Asian hate shit, right, going on, if you don't know, Asian individuals, especially older, you know, Asians um, have been attacked here in America for seemingly no good reason. I don't know if maybe people are, you know, just ignorantly with the COVID stuff or just like, I don't know what it is, but, but like a lot of, we've seen a lot of viral videos of people randomly and maliciously attacking older Asian individuals. And it's really sparked the outrage of a lot of people to say, we have to stop the Asian hate, right? Which, hey, I'm with, um, even though, I, listen, you, you know you know us niggas, we support everything. I don't know if we really see Asians on the front line of like issues to do with black people, but it's cool. We, we don't want Asians to be getting, you know, randomly targeted and hurt. Um, however, because of that, YG, who had an album out called My Crazy Life, his album was taken down for a little bit, and it's back up now. But apparently, people took issue with a song he had named Meet the Flockers. If you don't know, this song on this album infamously, um, and it's, this is an album with My Nigga, My Nigga. But, but that song is like a fucking instruction manual on how to do b and in California. Now, if you don't know what B&Es are, those are breaking and entering. Like, it happens to Rich the Kid every 14 days. They break into his crib and steal a bunch of his shit, and he makes a police report, and I don't know if he gets the insurance shit, you know what I mean? Um, but they just keep robbing him, right? But apparently, this is a culture out on the West Coast. They literally break into people's houses and rob them consistently and don't get caught. Now, YG made a song about pretty much, again, it's called, the album's called My Crazy Life. The song he was talking about what's the easiest people to hit that lick on for the B&Es, he mentioned on Meet the Flockers. Now, he specifically pretty much says, yo, find a, a Chinese or Asian neighborhood. And people are a little bit upset at that. They took it down for a minute. You know what I mean? Apparently they had to like, doctor up the song or edit up the song that it it could take out all the Asian references. But that's where we are now where like these social movements um end up could uh, could end up censoring music. I'll I'll play you what the song is now. Right there. They edit that out. So it says find find the house and scope it out. Find it, it it's supposed to say find an Asian neighborhood or find a Chinese neighborhood because they don't believe in bank account. Somebody said, play the original. The original is no longer on streaming platforms. They took that shit off. It's, if you didn't have a downloaded update, it's gone. Like, there is no more. And this is a this is a dirty version. So it's not, I'm, play, I'm not playing a clean version. They have edited out Asian out of this song to keep it up. Google went through a whole thing about if they were going to take down the video and now Spotify and Apple, they, they just jumped the gun and said, fuck it. Yo, take that Asian reference out of the motherfucking song that we can leave the song up. So uh, let me see if I can notice any other change. So apparently that's really the, the main um, edit in the song. But honestly, if you ask me what I think, man. I think it's bullshit that they, that they had to re revise the song. You get me? And, and I don't care. Like, I see some people saying, oh, some Asians are racist. That's not even my angle. It's like, there's, if you're going to do that with music, music always seems to be the low-hanging fruit, right? If you rap about some violent shit, it's the worst thing in the world. But, like, they'll watch a movie about, like, some deranged motherfucker having sex with their sister. You know what I mean? And that would be cool. It would be like, oh, this is art. Like, Movies and other types of art just seems to be considered more artistic than music. Like, literally, if this was in a movie, no problem. Because it's in a song. So, that's my only problem with it. For example, 
Are they then going to say, like, for example, if, if, if cops randomly start getting attacked for whatever reason? I don't know. Let, let, let's say the motherfuckers who killed George Floyd get off and goes through a little spree of people hurting cops. I hope it doesn't happen. I'm not trying to speak it into this existence. If people start hurting cops, will they then remove the song Fuck the Police? You know, it, it's just kind of like one of those things. And I'm watching just kind of like how censorship these days have taken its um, um, different shapes and forms from all the way on social media to the content you could put out to like shit if you could even be on social media. So it's interesting. It's interesting. So I said music is more influential. I don't know if music is more influential. Not all music is more. Yo, I could quote you more lines from Friday. Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society. Nigga, shit, I even paid in full. I could quote you more lines. And, and and some of those scenes were more impactful to me than listening to some fucking song by a rapper that was hot for like three months. Like, nigga, Boys in the Hood came out in the 90s. Somebody said music has a larger effect on the people as a whole. Arguable. Arguable. Anyway. Um, I just bring that to your radar. I don't really care that much. Uh, YG hasn't made any comment about it. And, um, yeah. Shit, oh, Genius actually quoted one of my videos. They said, according to DJ Academics, <laughs> according to DJ Academics, these are claims of some people that use a song to learn to rob. Oh, I did a video on this. Hold on. Bicking back, bicking back, being bull now. I've always thought people, okay? I, I, listen, I get my tutorials from music. Yes, niggas. Yup, yup, yup. If I wanted to spray up a block, I would listen to a Chief Keef song or a Big Draco song before I did it. They would tell me how to properly execute that plan. You know what I mean? If I wanted to motherfucking gang bang, I'm listening to YG. I'm listening to Nipsey Hustle. I'm listening to the game. And of course, if I just want to be a fucking simp, I'm listening to Drake. I mean, you could learn a lot through music. Now, according to uh, some for Yo, I'm a legend. <laughs> yo, yo, I don't even remember this video, but it's classic already. Yo, I watch my own content. I'll be like, yo, that nigga is hilarious, bro. Yo, I'll be off the handy doing these videos, yo. This shit is funny. Hold on, I'm about to play this whole shit. Former burglars, okay, which I don't even know if there's such a thing. Three niggas who were robbing hella homes in the L.A. area, they have came out to say, listen, YG song, Meet the Flockers, was the exact roadmap of what they need to rob people's crib, okay? They're pretty much saying that song not only influenced them, but taught them, okay? Now, if you're wondering what the lyrics are to those songs, okay, or that song, the, the lyric says, listen, first you, you find a house and scope it out, find a Chinese neighborhood because they don't believe in bank accounts. Second, you find a crew and a driver, someone who ring the doorbell, and someone that ain't scared to do what it do, okay? Now, a lot of people have came down at uh, YG for that song, including the Chinese community. They're saying, yo. Yo, when was this video made? I'm a fucking legend. Yo, I've been doing rap news so long, man. They're saying, yo, whoa. God damn, May 1st, 2017. It's almost four years ago. Shit. I feel like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne didn't, didn't remember one of his lyrics the other day. I'm, I'm listening to this shit like it's the first time I've ever listened to it. Like I didn't record it. <laughs> shit. All right, all right. Anyway, anyway. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, people. Okay, okay, okay. I actually had a list. I didn't write down a list for stream. But I feel like last night I didn't really talk about shit. Um, talk about the photo of YB, YG. I shit on Ruri. Um, the, oh. I, I'm, I'm going to get back to DMX and, and the Southside shit. And the Kanye. Kanye sold a doc for 30 million. I thought it was really dope. I do want to mention, I just think, I, I think I'm going to do a video for this. I think I'm going to do a video for this. Yo, chat, like, 
Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yo, hip hop is full of the most stupid motherfuckers in the world, bro. And yes, I'm on Vlad TV, so don't get mad. Do not get mad, people. He just wrote an article, or one of his writers wrote an article that I'm about to watch or read to y'all. Uh, uh, oh, no. Where's the shit at? So, chat. You know the YNW Melly case? So, this is YNW Bortland right here. Bortland, right? And he's the guy, allegedly, that they're saying that Melly killed them two niggas. And then Melly looked at him and said, yo, bro, I could clap you too, or you could just help me get through this shit. And you know what I mean? You gang. So anyway, they're claiming that he just said, yo, yo, I bet we'll, I'll help you cover the shit up. And they did a bunch of shit trying to cover it up. So he got charged with murder, but also accessory to murder. Um, unlike Melly, he got bail, right? So he got bail. And remember, they were locked up for a while. Melly turned himself in 2019. It's like two years later. It's been two fucking years since YNW Melly turned himself in. Now, this is so fucking... Yo, I be reading some of these rap stories, and I be like, yo, like, nigga, you can't even make this shit up. Like, you, you fucking can't make this shit up, dog. Look, YNW Borland's pretrial release denied. They issue a warrant for his arrest. So his bond, he had bond. So he had a pretrial bond. That's how he got out of jail. That he could sit at home and wait for his trial. You know, Melly's sitting in jail. The judge said, fuck that bond. Arrest that nigga. You know why? R listen to this story. I probably got to put this on my YouTube. Like, this is comedy. I'm sorry. And, and Moreland, if I know you're a killer, if maybe. So don't get mad at me. But shit, this is fucking comedy. Look, according to court documents obtained by Complex, YNW Bortland, Melly's co-defendant, who's currently on a bond order for a murder case, had his pre-trial release denied for violating the terms of his release. Melly and Borland were arrested in 2019 and accused of killing YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. Listen to this shit. This is classic. A pre-trial specialist stated that Borland was given special permission to leave his, his residence on March 27th and 28th for work. Now keep in mind, this motherfucker just started. He's trying to rap, but whatever. But his job is not listening to even as rap. Anyway, they said, however, he was tracked to a private re residence. That nigga went to eat some pussy, clearly. And later, to the King of Diamonds strip club <laughs> on the 27th. The following day, he was tracked to the Playhouse Gentlemen's Club and G5 Gentlemen's Club. God damn it, Chad. That nigga was on house arrest and said, man, fuck this. I'm, I got to go see some bitches at the club. Fuck that. I didn't know all that. The, the, those, uh, we call it the ankle monitor shit. I didn't know it tells you directly where they at. The fuck? That's accurate. Like, they knew, they knew that nigga was up in um King of Diamonds the whole time. I had no idea, like, no shit work like that. Okay. They said the Broward County Courthouse confirmed the complex that Borland's pre-trial release had been denied. It was also released that Broward judge called for his arrest. They claimed that his, the warrant for his arrest remained active. Okay. Why well, I keep telling me to look at Fulio's IG, Instagram. Who I smoke? Rory, who I smoke? Tracy, who I smoke. Young Pez. I love that shit. I'm going to be honest with you. They, they kill so many niggas, the song don't even sound good. Because they got to mention 45 niggas they killed. <laughs> like, think about it. <laughs> Yo, with Young and Ace, they got a good five. They, they only got five to name. This nigga trying to fit 45 niggas. Listen to how many niggas he's rapping about. I've never seen this shit before. Like, I don't think he cared about the song. He just wanted to let them know we up. That's all he was trying to do. Listen to this shit. Count it down, nigga. Listen to this shit. By the way, you got to get on the golf course, brother. You like you can't do this in your closet. You got to do it. You got to get on the golf course with it. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to count it down.
How the fuck he named a dozen niggas in three bars? <laughs> Yo, no, no, no. What's going on in Jacksonville, bro? This nigga, this nigga named a dozen niggas in three bars. <laughs> I don't even think he cared about rhyming. He he was naming so much niggas. He just said three of them died. He just he just stopped saying names. He just started saying numbers. Three. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with this nigga? I counted 13 people. It's 13 or 14. If he did this in a 30 second preview, imagine what he finna rap on for the whole two minute song. What's wrong with this nigga, man? How the fuck did he name 14 niggas? Nah, that nigga named 17 niggas, bro. I'm good. <laughs> that nigga named about 17 niggas, bro. I am good. <laughs> what in the fuck is going on? He named more people that's on a basketball team. This nigga was trying to get out every name possible in every single fucking line. Fulio, I don't know what you up to, my brother, man. But I hope you seek Jesus, Jehovah. Okay? I just hope you seek God. Jack, could y'all put me on Jacksonville? How is it possible that I'm listening to Young and Ace and he named like him and Spinner Benz? And what's the other dude's name? Them niggas sound like all oh, their names sound crazy too. What's their names? Spinner Benz. What? Ain't a nigga named like Whopper with the Chopper? Whopper with the Chopper? Look at your. Huh? Spinner Benz, Whopper with the Chopper, Fast Money Goon, and Young and Ace. They named about 10. Young and Ace people named about 10. This thing got all the names in his snippet. Fuck it. He named about 17. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. How many did, how many did uh, uh, Young and Ace name? Somebody said, watch what? In Wait, is there like a little docu? Uh, the Trap Geek do some shit on Jacksonville? What's going on, man? Let's watch this shit. I got to figure this shit out now. He did? Trap Geek. Yeah, he got to get into Jacksonville. By the way, did we confirm that he, Trap Geek ain't get nobody indicted yet, right? It's called Insider Hotspot. Okay, I'm gonna just search. Is that that's the same dude? Insider Hotspot. Who's this? What the fuck? Oh, he on the same shit too? What the fuck is this? Is this Jacksonville? Oh shit, chat. We fucking found it. This is gonna make sense now. All oh, this who I smoke shit. Here we go, Chad. Everything I've been through, walk the demons. Yo, I, I think about death every day. Fifty k on your head. You don't know. You don't never. What? What is this nigga talking about? Is that Fulio? Of course you think about death every day. You name seventeen niggas, bro. They're dead. It sound like Fulio. No more niggas that are dead than living. All I've been Everything I've been through, walk the demons. Yo, I think. Wait, don't 
young and Ace got like some hair now. Like, what was this? This thing looked like he had like a little. His shit just started to grow. Is it me or like Florida niggas grow hair mad quick? I don't know how they do it. It just happened like this. Boop, overnight. Yo, I'm gonna zoom out. Let's zoom out, man. Uh, uh, this is um Insider Hotspot. I don't know, I don't know who he is, but um, let me give him his credit. You feel me? I've been through what the demons. Yo, I think about death every day. 50k on your head. You don't know. You don't never know who's coming. I ain't gonna let step on me. I gotta stay dangerous. You disrespecting my dead homeboys, so and now I wanna dish your dead. You get what I'm saying? Out of the blue. Oh, you hear shots. I think I got shot. I blanked out, but I can hear my little brother. I say I'm about to die. I put been on my pivot. How could I slip? Jacksonville police have arrested the only surviving of the quadruple shooting. I, this tragedy just happened to me. You got me in the last box. From you not letting me go to my brother's film. Know the consequences and the repercussions of the streets. I cry every night before I go to sleep. I might not make it see five years. There's a new wave of rappers that have been steady on the rise in Jacksonville, taking over and putting their city on the map. But no matter how these artists blow up, their street life always seems to. I ain't gonna lie. It, 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 this thing it don't sound like like trap geek sound like he white white. Like yo, you gotta have that white documentary voice for this shit. Like that white, you know what I mean? Like you gotta sound like you are detached. Like you're just reading the script. This nigga, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Might have to get trap geek to read the script. I don't know. Wait, is he, him and trap geek cool? They're not beefing, right? Tag along and get in the way of they say like he got the music right. Does the voice gotta be like yo? Trap Geek was delivering shit just monotone, like yeah, like he was just saying crazy shit. I like that. Yes, we've seen so many lives lost, and Jacksonville is overshadowed by the situation between two rival cliques. Young and Ace ATK and Julio Fulio's KTA have been leaving a trail of bodies behind their beef, and the body count doesn't seem to be near stopping. With both being shot, near losing their lives, Ace and Fulio's beef are spilling over into their camps, and that's Jacksonville hot. I've got the inside scoop between the camps, and we gonna focus in on the drama and May Lee surrounding Fulio and Ace. Let's dig into this rivalry that's terrifying the city of Jacksonville and just... Yo, okay, I'm gonna give you my quick Jacksonville story. So I went down to Jacksonville, I was trying to sign, like... Like, I was trying to sign, which, by the way, I don't, I don't know if I ever told you. I could sign people if I want to. You feel me? Just, like, I don't got much motivation. Like, I think, I, truthfully, like, mad honest transparency, I tried to sign three people, and once it gave became a headache, I just realized I was too rich for it. Like, I'm good. You know, like, obviously, people who do their things in record space is it, beautiful. But, like, I think my next attempt with working with music people is I'm gonna be detached. Like you won't even see me. Like I'll just be a face in the name. I'm not like I, I flew down to Jacksonville. I went to go see this kid named D. Watkins. And um I really liked his music. It was it was like a year or two ago. And um I think we, I, I love the energy. I went to Jackson. I remember I, I remember this bridge. Cause wherever the hotel I was staying at, it looked at this bridge. And I think Jacksonville isn't that big. But anyway, um, I didn't happen to sign him. But I remember when I was there, I got a haircut there, and everybody was just telling me all oh, these people who are popping in Jacksonville. And I was like, fuck. That's one of the reasons I hate going to other cities because everybody looks at it as an opportunity to just put other people on. But I came here for one artist. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if I heard anything about Young and Ace or Fulio at that time. But Jacksonville... Like, from what I, the energy I got, it was a very vibrant music scene. Very, very vibrant music scene. Okay? It's who's who in the beat. Youngers have been wilding in Jacksonville lately, creating a surge of gunplay that has rocketed the side rate in the city. It's in their mind. Like, I don't know what the 2000s, baby, really. Like, it's in their mind. They just turned right now. Like, I don't know, bro. If they mentality, that shit. Shoot first. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Chief Key Wave. I don't know who did it, but he just turned up. I ain't with y'all. That part of it. My bad, my bad. Let me let my man get his ad money. I right, inside a hot spot. But the two notable rappers that have been in a highly publicized beef resulting in multiple lives lost are Fulio and Ace. Now, Fulio's crew, KTA, 
stands for kill them all. And well, that's self-explanatory. Ace, on the other hand, is no more subtle in their savagery. His ATK has been rumored to be tied to his name, meaning Ace to kill, with the signature writing spade 2x. But word on the street is that his real meaning is aim to kill. These rappers aren't the ones that do the talking for clout. They live that life and had a scars and blood trail to prove it. Now, where did all this start? Young and Ace has been the face of Jacksonville since his debut hit, Go To which showcased the rapper's versatility. Being from the type of lifestyle he came up in, the beefs follow, and the one that cost him many friends, family, and nearly his own life is the one that his crew, ATK, had with KTA. And Fulio, who was also one of Jacksonville's buzzing rappers, was started out as a confusion between... Wait. ATK and KTA. Ain't that the uh, that's the reverse of the same shit? ATK KTA. Okay. Two rappers that could have been squashed by a simple conversation became something that engulfed Jacksonville. For like the outside people that ain't like from like Duval and shit that don't like this shit ain't what it like. Like if you ain't from here, you won't know what's going on in the streets of Duval, so shit. With that being said, you niggas like, ain't nothing though. No. So it ain't that deep. Nah, ain't so if y'all just see each other, it'll be cool. The retaliation and dropping the bodies on each camp sparked from the banging of Fulio's cousin, Zion Brown, which seemed like a planned hit. 18 year old Zion Brown was the only adult in the home, along with two teens, a nine year old, and a six year old boy. And get this the trigger puller, DeAndre Thomas, was wanted by the cops for a failed robbery with Young and Ace that got Ace seven months in the pen. Zion would be the first recorded fallen victim in the beef that then set things spiraling out of control. The ops would get their get back on ATK. Young and Ace would be the target while celebrating his blood brother, Trayvon Bullers, aka Quan Quan, 18th birthday, detailing the gruesome scene where his blood brother Quan through the streets, Royale Smith, and close friend, Jacoby Groover, aka Foe, Lost their lives. Is this the three piece that Julio was talking about? That nigga rapped about the hat trick, and I'm seeing it on the news. leaving him with eight bullet wounds. Ace became even more cold. A shooter or shooters on the run after four teens are gunned down to the south side. What we're learning about the men killed in a drive-by shooting. 18-year-old Trayvon Bullard, 19-year-old Jacoby Groover, and 18-year-old Royale Smith. They lost their lives late last night. Police say the shooter followed the three along with a fourth survivor. Having previously experienced pain from losing both his uncle and another brother he looked up to. My uncle had died when I was like 13, 14. Hmm. Meet Chris and Mark. Hello. Get through this ad real quick. Well, Chris, hmm. and he was like, uh, he was like a daddy with me because my dad was doing 15 years in prison and he was like that. The, the head of our family. You know, you got that one person in that family that just control everything. Matter of fact, hold on. My brother got shot in front of me. That was a big loss. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That was a big, that was the biggest loss I ever, I ever experienced. I ain't gonna speak too much on that, but shit, we, he just got shot though. He shot him, he got shot in front of me though. Shit. Man, that was a big loss though. Ace was going through it, feeling the weight of blaming himself for not protecting his day ones. I'm lost. I feel like it's my fault. I always feel like that. I'm gonna forever feel like that. Everybody said don't feel like that, but you don't you don't know how that feel. Like it's like everybody on your watch, like they right here with you. How could you let this happen? To this day, they three faces is inked across his abdomen. As we've seen countless times before, once the bodies start piling, the beef just keeps escalating and only catches on to everyone around. Now ATK and KTA was in an all-out battle at this point. Wait, 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 why young that's young boy, right? Why young boy in this business? Now ATK. Y'all gotta put me on game, bro. Why young boy right here? This, this young boy, right? Oh, they fuck with each other. Oh, they cool. Okay, baby. All right, cool, cool. 
4TK, oh my God, 4KT. Man, I don't even think these, you know what's so funny about all these little ATK, KTA, 4K, I don't even think none of these names can even say the full alphabet. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, no disrespect. Leave me alone. I don't have problems. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> like, stop with these three letter symbols, man. The symbols y'all need, niggas need to know is FBI, ATF, ICE, okay? <laughs> DEA, like, that's what. <laughs> IRS, like those are the ones. I ain't gonna hold you. K and KTA was in an all out battle at this point with their main man fighting for his life on the hospital bed. I'm trying to come for him. I'm trying to make the whole RJ. I'm trying to hold him. I'm trying to RJ open it. If I open the door, I'm pushing him out. I'm like, bro, I got you, bro. I got you. He, he like, grab a shirt. I'm like, bro, I can't. He tell me, can't move. I jump out the car. Go open the door. Call him. He'd been shot eight times, and I believe at that point we had three or four or eight bullets inside. Wait, who got shot eight times? Ace? Inside of him still, um, considering he really needed to go to a hospital because he didn't have insurance. Wait, Young and Ace got shot eight times? Stop capping. Why y'all ain't tell me all of this? I don't want no problems with no nigga like that. The hospital. That nigga survived that? Wouldn't take the bullets out of him. So while he was in custody, it was really became that part. It was the responsibility of the sheriff's office to make sure he got the medical care he needed. Sheriff's office didn't give him medical care. They didn't give him antibiotics. And they basically just left him in there. ATK was slipping slowly. Fulio took the opportunity to taunt his ops and make light of Ace's fallen brothers and homies. Royale. Royale Smith. This that 4X? Who else that is? Quack, quack. Dun, dun, dun. Ace caught wind of Fulio's antics while recovering, got out of the hospital, dropped a freestyle. Laying in the hospital bed, they shots to my body and on my mind and my bros. They say, them three didn't make it. Tears full of pain, no other way I can take it. And got on Fulio's head and his KTA ops for talking sideways about the loss of his bros. Don't they be riding this to the gate and a You didn't kill my brother, but stop at kill my brother. So don't let them tell you that. You think you didn't kill my brother? You didn't want to meet that shit next time? They better stop that shit. Y'all better open y'all motherfucking eyes up. Rappers, just like, these man, these nigga ain't gonna play with me. Ain't no nigga, ain't no play with me, bro. Real life, real. I ain't gonna play with me, but I'm about my shit. I'm about my business. And Fulio being the Jacksonville Grim Reaper, doubled down on his word in the face of threats and taunts. Wait, this Fulio niggas like the little Reese? No fucking way. As soon as he showed blunt, a nigga dead? I ain't gonna lie, I heard that Ace song, that Who I Smoke shit, I thought Ace was the biggest demon. Until I heard, that I knew something's up, because I'm listening to this, this Fulio nigga look like he don't care too much about rapping. Look like his skills lie elsewhere. I'm like, he's just trying to name mad niggas. Look like he got too many, uh, too many packs to name. So Fulio is the demon then. Holy shit. Yo, I keep telling you, the biggest killers, they're either, they're either built weird, like they're, like, they're just built like a bowl of jello, or they're extra skinny. You can see their rib touching. You can see their heart beating through the shirt. Look at this nigga right here. This nigga like he's never eaten meat in a day in his life. This nigga's a killer. This nigga's a killer. I ain't gonna lie to you. Killer. I'm being honest with you. Like, look at a nigga like this. You see how skinny little Reese is? <laughs> look at this nigga right here. Heard in the face of threats and taunts. Repercussions of the streets. If you in the streets and you grown, like, you know what the consequences are. You dead or you in jail. Man. Oh, well, we got People realize that too late to a nigga dead, though. Like, you feel me? Did you know you can go to... Oh, my God. 
Who's KSO? Who y'all talking okay, about? Okay, I'm on vibe. People just felt like I was wrong. Said, really, all this out here thugging, you know the consequences if something yeah. happened to you. Right. So that's how I took it. You know what I'm saying? I said what I said. But time proved this to not be the best decision he could make. If we learn anything from these street beefs, is what? Don't disrespect nobody's fallen homies. That continues to be one of the main reasons beef gets spun out of control and turn a situation into an endless cycle of gunplay. You disrespecting my dead homeboy, so now I want to dish your dead. You get what I'm saying? So it'd be like a little tit for tat shit like that. Fulio and his gang seem to have the upper hand and continue pressing ATK. This is where things got even more dicey. Turns out, a rapper by the name of Willie Addison, aka Boss Goon, got shot up after leaving the Paradise Club with relatives where he just performed at the club. I guess two or three cars pulled up on the side of us, shot inside our car over a hundred times, killed my son in the front seat, shot my son in the back, in the, in the head three times, shot my nephew several times, a couple more passengers in there were shot uh, several times, numerous of times, and I drove all the way from there to Memorial Hospital, shot in the back myself twice. This happened to be the brother and family members of Ace's right-hand man and shooter, k Sue. This dude don't care, and we'll find out why I say that soon. Six people total sustained injuries, including k Sue's dad, Abdul Robinson, but his brother, Boss Goon, didn't make it. Boss was only out for a couple months from a 10-year sentence. K. Sue already plotting revenge on his mind, got the perfect chance to exact retribution alongside his father, carrying out a hit on rapper Charles McCormick, aka KTA Lil Buck, who was drilled in Arlington during a daytime ambush in a shopping plaza. Both K. Sue and his father set news outlets and hip hop sites on fire with the father-son hit that upped the score for ATK. Developing now, a father and son have been arrested in connection with a deadly shooting at an Arlington shopping center. 21 year old. Ain't that nigga that was just talking? That got arrested? This is nigga, right? So he did an interview on the news and then went to clap the niggas? Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. This is some Chirac fuckery. Yo, I'm glad I'm a little established now because. If I was on the come up, I'd be doing some war in Jacksonville shit, and they would have blamed everything on me. I'm so glad, bro. I'd have, I ain't gonna lie, I would have definitely, I would have definitely been on some war. Nigga, I've been on war. Nigga, it would have been war in the six, <laughs> war in the ville. They would have hated me. <laughs> they would have hated me, bro. They would have blamed all this shit on me. <laughs> like, you know how them niggas named like 17 niggas in the song? They would have been like, Yo, all them 17 niggas was because of act. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm established. I'm good. I want no problems with none, none of y'all niggas. Nigga, I would have definitely, I would have had channels bumping. Yo, War in the Ville. Nigga, I would have had that shit updated every 30 minutes. <laughs> All the way from there to Memorial Hospital. Shot in the back myself twice. This happened to be the brother and family members of Ace's right-hand man and shooter, k Sue. This dude don't care. Who's k Sue? Who's k Sue? Like, tell me who's k Sue. And we'll find out why I say that soon. Six people total sustained injuries, including Kesu's dad, Abdul Robinson. But his brother, Boss Goon, didn't make it. Boss was only out for a couple months from a 10 year sentence. Kesu already plotting revenge on his mind, got the perfect chance to exact retribution alongside his father, carrying out a hit on rapper Charles McCormick, AKA KTA Lil Buck, who was drilled in Arlington during a daytime ambush in a shopping place. Wait, is k Sue free then or is he locked up? Plaza. Both k Sue and his father set news outlets and hip hop sites on fire with the father-son hit that upped the score for ATK. Developing now, a father and son have been arrested in connection with a deadly shooting at an Arlington shopping center. 21-year-old Hakeem Robinson and his father, 49-year-old Abdul Robinson, are both in the Duval County Jail. Now, let's pause a bit to talk about Ace's shooter, k Sue. If his name sounds familiar, he was the rapper that made international news for placing his lost ops on his album cover. Yep, you heard that right. Dude don't give two Fs. This album cover, it hurts my heart, like, to see my son on there as a joke. But wait, there is a great significance in this if you pay attention to the subliminal diss to ATK. This in itself 
was an act of disrespect that hit home for Fulio because many of the names were a reference to his fallen KTA homies like Dirk, Zion, and his homie Bibi Osama. And gunfire erupts inside a northwest side of. Is that. Is that Bibi? Apartment complex that leaves this 16 year old dead. Who Ace and them constantly disrespects it online after deleting him. That's your baby cremated ass. We whoop their ass out. I'll run that gym, bro. They cremated his ass. <laughs> Poor ass dead. This wound cut deep. This ain't snitching, right? But th that dude saying they cremated him, that's the dude who killed him, right? evidence for court in this if you pay attention to the subliminal diss to atk this in itself was an act of disrespect that hit home for fulio because many of the names were a reference to his fallen kta homies like dirt zion and his homie bibi osama and gunfire erupts inside a northwest side apartment complex that leaves this 16 year old dead who ace and them constantly disrespects it online after deleting him Baby cremated ass, we whoop their ass out. I'll run that gym, bro. They cremated ass. <laughs> Poor ass dead. This wound cut deep for Fulio, releasing his tribute track, Bibby Story, to his close friend that became a notable record from the KTA rapper. Oh, Bibby, that's my little brother. Yeah, I died and shit. Uh, that shit, that song, no, that, that was like a tribute, a testimony to him. I lost him, I was like one of the last niggas he was with before he, he passed and shit like that. K Su pours salt in the wound with his disgustingly disrespectful diss track, K Su, <laughs> detailing scenes from the hit. The bodies just kept stacking up, but the beef showed no sign of slowing down between Fulio's KTA and Ace's ATK. Soon, just as Ace felt was wet up, Fulio got a brush with the grave when a bullet grazed his skull in an attempt on his life. Good job. Shot me, but didn't kill me. I'm Kendrick. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and when he survived, and they couldn't finish the job, they later banged on his girl, nearly taking her life as well. Y'all thought I was dead. Yeah, I ain't up score just yet. Y'all pray to God I don't meet no girl like this. Yo, she laughing and she almost got killed? <laughs> This is a different breed of ratchet right here. <laughs> this one of them streety type of chicks right here. No, Kizzy. Somebody tried to kill you and you, you laughing. Oh, y'all ain't up the score yet? Bitch, move. What the fuck? Soon, just as Ace felt was wet up, Fulio got a brush with the grave when a bullet grazed his skull in an attempt on his life. Bitch, uh, shot me, but didn't kill me. I'm Kendra. <laughs> and when he survived and they couldn't finish the job, they later banged on his girl, nearly taking her life as well. Y'all thought I was dead. Yeah, I ain't up score just yet. <laughs> By this point, both camps have already lost so much and with people close to them. But no matter how much their music got more attention and their fame kept rising, the street mentality was just rooted too deep to let go and move on. After having an attempt on his life where he narrowly survived, Ace was again the target while at the Waycross Hotel where he was staying while in the area for a performance. He got away unscathed this time, but one of his homies was injured and the other was added to KTA's scoreboard. In the scene of Sunday's shooting, a group of men, including rapper Young and Ace, were near the pool when they were shot at, according to police. Fulio couldn't wait for a chance to jump at the opportunity, continuing to mock Ace and his ATK hitman K Su, lost homies. only to find himself losing two more of his KTA comrades, Spaz 2X and Rod K, 
one day after the next, after it appeared, Rod K would pull through. It's like an endless back and forth, man. One moment KTA is laughing, the next ATK. Truth is, no one has the last laugh when it comes to beat, just pain and falling homies. But Ace and his right hand man, ATK Kesu, had to go tit for tat, clowning Fulio for losing two more members. Fulio took it in stride, posting up a single message before going right back to resuming the beat. This time, taking things a step further, aiming for Ace's shooter, k Su, who the cops caught on to, and locked up by this time for the hit on Lil Buck. Fulio made fun of his arrest and even dragged his pops into the beat, and exposed k Su, posting receipts of his sister rocking with his set, as well as k Su repping for Fulio before he jumped sides to Ace. Hi, man. Happy birthday. It's always the same thing we see with these vids. Dudes always friends turned enemies. Dudes is talented and really putting Jacksonville on the map, but slowly drawing new rappers like Spot'em Got'em and J.D. Youngin into the beef. You niggas, niggas ain't never, you niggas ain't never putting no work. You niggas just be rapping on mic. I don't just rap. I don't talk about other niggas' life on my mic. Be me, you niggas. Spot'em Got'em up. We'll address that in a separate vid. For now, we'll keep our eye on how things turn out and trust. I'ma update you with the latest info. It's getting crazier and crazier in Jacksonville. The way things is going, the OGs of ATK and KTA might be gone if this keep up. But man, for shit, that's it for this video. Let me know what you want. God damn. Oh, my Should I watch this, this 4K Trey versus TBG and BBG? What the fuck is this? Yo, Chad, this type of coonery is, is next level. Yo, I'm glad I'm out of that war in Chirac phase, man. I could just watch this and reflect, like, I'm above this now. I'm above this. I would never entertain such fuckery. On everything. Oh, f that nigga mom. Bitch, bitch, play with me first. That hoe. Mama. I can't see that nigga. Joke, mama. Don't mix my rap life with my, with my music life. This music video shows Ashton Wells performing under his stage name, Boulevard Quick. Baton Rouge police say the local rapper was shot and killed at his home at Lakeside Villa Apartments on Wellwood Drive after midnight. I was in bed and my balcony is right above where it happened. So I heard about six shots go off. The violence, the hatred just has to stop. Come on, you bitch ass nigga, go dig all three of your brothers up with your scary ass. It's been a topic of debate. Which city holds some of the most dangerous gangs associated with rappers? And Baton Rouge, Louisiana is among those to top the list. We're gonna bridge the gap between gangs in Baton Rouge from old school to the youngins like NBA Youngboy and his camp that are inciting even more gunplay with their beef between the bottom boy gorillas, aka BBG. From OGs and one of the realists in the rap game, Boosie, who beat the lethal injection. Boosie, what you wanna say to your fans, man? Anything? Yes. To NBA Youngboy's past mentor and homie turned op, Kevin Gates. I'm clicking the chrome, click on the dome of the long smith and the snip at your long whiskers. You a rat. I know it's not, but I'm making it your business. Baton Rouge has had some of the most influential rappers that live the life they rap. While some may not be associated with any clicker gang, they're respected in the hood for their savagery and credentials in the streets. We're gonna run through some of the most notable hot spots before getting to the new breed of gangs bred through the streets. We got the gangsters out in Sherwood, Valley Park, Ghost Town. Bankstown, Third Ward, aka Scotlandville, Port Allen, and Dixie. You see, there's a lot of different zones to be careful in when in Baton Rouge. With all the beefing and war zone brought in between rival zones and gangs, rappers always seem to be at the center of it. Some make it big, and their gang automatically is put on the map. One such gang is NBA Youngboys, 4KT, the 4K Trays. Now, Youngboy and his crew are associated with the Bottom Boy Gorillas, known as the BBG. And the two factions have been beefing heavy with the rival Baton Rouge gang, 
known as the Top Boy Gorillas, aka TBG. Now, you notice the names ain't that far off. That's cause BBG and TBG are on opposing ends of Southside Baton Rouge. TBG is top side of Southside Baton Rouge, and BBG the bottom side of Southside Baton Rouge. The thing is, people don't really know how these gangs started beefing. And if you know, man, it goes way deeper, and a lot of what's happening now really revolves around NBA Youngboy. Homies been lost their life on both sides for this beef. We gonna dive in and break it down, cause these dudes are about it for show when it comes to their gangs. So check it, we going back in time a bit. When Boosie came up, he was the first to really put Baton Rouge on the map on a large scale in the rap scene. He had a close homeboy by the name of Lil Ivy who went on to establish Top Boy Gorilla's record label. That was the start of TBG. Sadly, Lil Ivy got deleted in 2005, but what he started will continue to this day. Now, YB was a youngin' when he got introduced to all this. He became cool with Lil Herc, who introduced him to his older brother, G Money. Later on, YB ended up becoming an affiliate of TBG, but later on moved on from the label for what was rumored to be money issue. Their ties could be seen in TBG's music video for iPhone 6, featuring Boulevard Mel, Fredo Bang, G Money, and YMM Captain. And I'm still booming off the I6. Trap phone, doing number, that's a brick. Right on. Where YB made cameos. But somewhere along the line, things began to turn sour between the camp. YB went on to start his NBA movement, and as he started to do his thing, jabs to TBG began to spark fire that YB headed out for TBG. As YB continued to blow, things got more out of hand. Word on the street is that YB was the reason that Lil Herc and G Money got into a beef with his cousin, a true Baton Rouge savage, Boozilla. This led to G-Money's homie Dusa being the one that's labeled the trigger man that off Boozilla and shit just went further out of control. Now we gotta insert an important piece of information here cause it changes the trajectory of the gang warfare later on. Up and coming TBG star Fredo Bang was on the rise at this point. Him and G-Money was like brothers. Like best friend, like that's my brother. Like, like when I was gone and from jail, like he still stayed in my house, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's somebody I trust with my, my life, my soul. But he ended up catching the case for an attempted hit involving a situation between him and rapper Lewis Badass, now deceased. Now, YB started sending shots at G, and G returned fire with the diss industry. Which got dirty about YB's sister. Not too long after the song's release, G Money got his lights turned off while Fredo was in prison by Q's NBA affiliate, DeAndre Fields, who was given the green light for the hit by YB's homie, Dumb. The plot just seemed to thicken between YB, 4KT, BBG, and TBG. YB and BBG began aligning and continued to inherit beats with the rival TBG camp. There's a lot of speculation about what happened next between the gangs, but it's said that when Fredo's case got dropped and he returned home, TBG affiliate, Boulevard Quick, was given the go-ahead to deal with Dump, and Dump was shot up and deleted. This is where things started escalating to a point of no return. Lit Yoshi. Did this nigga say he got deleted like a fucking program? who was the nephew of TBG founder Lil Ivy, was rumored to be included in Dump's demise. Dump's passing hit YB hard as it was his man's, and he released a song dedicated to Dump. At the same time, Lit Yoshi is coming in the rap game and drops a song, Blasting, where many speculate to be the detailed drilling of Dump. YB wasn't gonna let all that slide and got into it Boulevard Quick, who got pretty disrespectful about YB's mom. Talking about I ain't afraid of bitch, I speak on everything. Boy, that um, play with me first. That hoe. If you know YB, he can get a bit crazy for the women in his life. And at the top of that list is his mom. Needless to say, he didn't take kindly to Boulevard Quick's words. Fuck my mama. I ain't see that neither, huh? It's a joke, huh? Fuck my mama. Don't mix. My rap life, my, with my music life. In the not so far future, Boulevard Quick was shot and got his lights put out in Baton Rouge. The body count from each side just kept rising. 
TBG, BBG, and 4KT were becoming out of control in Baton Rouge and gaining notoriety as the new breed of gangs running the streets. Now that Lit Yoshi was on the prowl, shit was going crazy. His actions proved true to his lyrics. In 2019, amid the beef between BBG, Yoshi was arrested for shooting up four members of BBG and NBA's crew outside a convenience store. Lil Yoshi was soon out on bail, and it seemed the combination between him and Fredo was the destructive force to TBG. More of YB and BBG's associates was under attack, including BBG, Baby Joe, and later on, YB's brother, Big B, who were both shot, but survived. Hey, sorry, don't you? I ain't gonna lie, man. It's too many Bs. B, 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 G, B, B, M, B, B, Y, B, 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 C, like, B, B, L, like, what the fuck? <laughs> too many Bs, bro. These things bloods? <laughs> it's just too many Bs. I'm, just, I'm, I'm like, confused. I'm confused. Oh. YB's homie, NBA KD, was also shot, and Fredo had a lot of fun at his expense as info circulated that KD ended up in a wheelchair because of the shooting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. YB was getting closer to a tombstone. Maybe going against the TBG would become his downfall. Coming close to meeting the Reaper in Miami, when an attempt on his life was made, the gang life was creeping up on the buzzing rapper. Shots were fired right here outside the Trump International Hotel. Witnesses say it all started with an argument between two groups of rappers who were shot and killed. The girlfriend of the rapper, NBA Youngboy, and a five-year-old boy were both hit. Both are recovering this morning. Those shootings happened right after a music festival. Some say Lit Yoshi, who posted a vid in Miami at the time riding with the strap, was the shooter. Luckily for YB and BBG, Yoshi couldn't slow down on the gas and was again arrested in 2020 for a string of shootings, one occurring in April in the parking lot of the La Playa apartment complex on Hanks Drive and another in July near the Mallard Crossing apartment complex on Greenwell Springs Road that injured four people in a nearby car. With Yoshi behind bars on charges and Bell. I've heard this name before, Yoshi. Who the fuck is this guy? He he was beefing with Youngboy. I think I posted something about him. So Yoshi, Yoshi was oh he was beefing with Youngboy. Yo, how many niggas is Youngboy beefing with? Said at 1.8 mil, he's not coming home anytime soon. It's all up to Fredo to carry TBG as his top artist and member. But with his status growing strong, that doesn't look to be a problem. Unless YB and BBG has something to say about that. The lid is over the beef and it's sure to be brewing. YB's 4KT, BBG, and TBG are causing mass in the streets and putting Baton Rouge on the map. For good with music and for bad with the gang culture. Maybe Baton Rouge savages and gangs will continue to get grittier and grimier without care, or they'll band together and stop the drilling. But be peace in the hood, if, if the top and the bottom, and cross the track, the whole thing could come together as one. Yeah. It could be peace in the hood. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, if it ain't none of that, it ain't gonna be no peace, ain't nobody gonna sleep. That's it for this video. Let us know what you'd like to see in the upcoming video. Wow, okay. Shit, this thing got everything on this bitch. Hot boy beefing with Glock 9? Honeycomb Brazy? Oh. A surgeon's in Jacksonville's streets. So I'm in my house. They were in my house. Oh I my came God. out of the bathroom and they were in my house. There are just a few people behind a lot of the crimes, and this is one of those examples. Developing now, a father and son have been arrested in connection with a police shooting at an Arlington. Get back to Jacksonville, man. This shit is. We're, we're learning about this Cuso nigga. Arlington Shopping Center. 21 year old Hakeem Robinson and his father, 49 year old Abdul Robinson. One of those wild criminals happens to be the focus of our vid today. What's up, gang?
we've been dissecting the beef between ATK, Ace Top Killers, and KTA. Kill them all. We did an extensive breakdown of the beef between the two dangerous gangs involving. Everybody keeps saying watch the Glock 9 one. So the name, Glock. Is Glock 9 in WAP? I mean, his name is Glock 9. That's like a rhetorical question. Is a nigga named Glock 9 Wild? All right. He got, a, he got like a, a innocent face. Hey, let's watch this shit. I'm hearing that came from you always being on Channel 9 News. True or false? That's true. Yeah. You've been in jail 12 times. Yeah. What? GTA, gun charge. Uh, burglaries. Shit. You leave your shit running at the stove, I'm going to jump in at uh -huh. You're going to jail every three months. So you've, had, you've actually lost police Yo. in a high speed chase. Ah, uh, like, why well, can't keep doing it? No, you have no idea. You're going to play that you have no idea that was in there. Recently sworn in state attorney for Florida's 9th Judicial Circuit, Monique Worrell, filing five counts of attempted second degree against an Orlando rapper. Back in July, prosecutors say 20-year-old Jaquavia Smith opened fire on an Orlando home with a woman and her children inside. Hey gang, what's good? Sad times in the AFNF camp right now, man. They rap boss Glock 9 ain't looking too good right now and maybe put away for a very long time. Hit songs, record deal, taking over the industry. So why does his street life keep following him? And what exactly is that street life that is burned into his habits? Today, we're gonna explore the long rap sheet of Glock 9 that landed him behind bars and brought a stop to his takeover of the rap industry. Before his breakout hits like- Chat, is it safe to say that Florida got the realest, well, nah, when I say realest niggas, you know what I mean. Facetiously, but. All these Florida niggas is just wildin'. Like, Florida sweaty shot right now. Like Crayola and 10%, Orlando, Florida rapper and AFNF head honcho, Glock 9, was already a face of the criminal element in the streets that plagued law enforcement at an early age. Before Tay-K was doing the race, Glock 9 was already ramming police vehicles and carrying officers on a high-speed chase in his younger days. So you've, you've actually lost police. Yeah. The high speed chases. Yeah. Really? Whole bunch of time. Every in the streets of Orlando, his upbringing molded him to be tough. So you grew up in Orlando? Mm hmm. All right. Kind of a rough upbringing? Yeah. Growing up with his moms and brothers, with a dad that was in and out of prison. My daddy, Jill, in and out of jail. She had, more, I had like three other brothers. Glock 9 would end up with an attraction to danger. His troublesome tendencies started showing early. At a young age, his love for cars already had his mindset on driving in video games to driving in real life. Glock 9 would begin sneaking his mom's car out late at night, but after getting sold out by the neighbors, like turn the car and put it in like neutral and let it roll down a little, a, a little thing, like soon as that be rolled, I ain't gonna lie, my neighbors caught me one night. The life of crime which led him to being jailed over 12 times began. From then forward, Glock 9's street cred began escalating as his run-ins with the law was getting out of control. He would try to escape his street life through rapping, but as his name on the beats grow louder, so did his name in the streets. In 2015, the rapper would be arrested in connection with the shooting of a teenager and would be charged with battery with a firearm and unlawful discharge of a firearm. For a normal person, this would be a wake-up call after serving time in juvie. But Glock 9 wasn't just a regular guy. In 2018, his arrest started overshadowing his fame. To law enforcement, he was no longer simply the rapper Glock 9 with the leader of a gang they labeled as one of the FBI's most wanted in Florida, AFNF The Army, short for All Family, No Friends. The FBI says they're going to be looking at all gangs in Orange County, but they're taking a key interest in the gangs 438 and The Army. Orange County Sheriff's detectives say they are behind the recent rash of here, and the FBI says they want to stop them. Allegedly responsible for the hit of countless bodies between rival gang 438 of fellow Florida rapper Hot Boy and the collateral damage taking innocent lives of three-year-old Dequane James Felix Jr. and 14-year-old Dennis Joshua Atkinson. Disbelief sweeping over neighbors and family after learning a child was shot and killed last Hind Hills. On the 3rd of October 2018, Glock 9 was pulled over after an on-duty officer on patrol in the area of West Colonial Drive and North Tampa Avenue saw what was two Dodge Challengers racing, one of which was Glock 9's doing 70 in a 40 mile per hour zone. Glock 9 was tailed and pulled over at a red light where the officer smelled dope and searched the vehicle to find small amounts of pot 
and a black Glock 27 40 caliber loaded handgun with extended magazine and 10 rounds of 40 caliber ammunition beside the driver's seat. I'm good, chap. Enough of this coolery for tonight, bro. I'm good, bro. Like, catch me tomorrow night with this. So, this is nonstop coolery, bro. I'm sorry, bro. This is fucking too much coolery, bro. God damn it, man. I'm good. I'm good, chat. Just a little bit too much. Just a little bit too much. <laughs> like, I think I just start like, daydreaming. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, why the fuck I don't even want to, like, watch this shit? <laughs> like, what the fuck? These things is murderers. I'm surprised some of these things even got time to do music. These niggas are murderers. I mean, it gives a little bit more, more context to why these niggas keep getting arrested. They're full-time murderers, part-time musicians. I was really watching this. I'm like, the fuck? Like, let me click over this shit, man. Anyway. Uh, yo. Did my nigga Paul Pierce do anything wrong? Paul Pierce, if you don't know. Sorry. <laughs> The brother was on Instagram Live, had a few little scrippers with him. You know, you know the vibes, you know the vibras. Getting a little massage, had a little joint twerking. They were clothed. They were in, you could call, you know, tomato, tomato. I call it a bikini. You may call it brawn panties, right? They were popping that ass, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can make some money, girl. Stop playing. Monica, what you doing? Shit, look like, you know what I mean, my guy, enjoy, like, he had his guys around. He enjoying some strippers. He getting a haircut or whatever the case is. Look like that ESPN bonus had hit. But I'm going to tell you where he fucked up. Paul Pierce had 300 people on his live, and he probably thought nobody finna see this. Instead, this shit went viral. ESPN saw it. And hey, let me just, uh, I'll fucking take this on the screen. Um, Brad, it's not no fucking TOS. I don't think it's TOS. There, there was nudity. Anyway, I took it off the screen now. Um, not deleting the vibe, man. Should I delete the vibe? You niggas just kill me. <laughs> so I said not delete the VOD. Oh my God, stop it. Well, if I delete the VOD, y'all better go 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 uh sub to King Academics if you want the replay of this stream. All right. See? Is that TOS? Yo, I went to just chatting. Like, yo, there's girls in bras and bras and panties. Like I kid you. Yo, I'm about to go look at Twitch's own website. Let's go. Twitch.tv. Let's go to Twitch's own website. All right, fine. Let's go to, um, let me go. Categories, just chat. Look at this, bro. Nigga, that's exactly what these chicks had on. She got three grand right now. No, Live. you did not prepare that rap, guys. He's like fast and quick like that. He can just make up raps on the spot. But um, none of this is scripted, by the way. We were just, uh, what's it called? Improving. It was not scripted. People were saying it's scripted. It was just improv. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I think that's lingerie. It's motherfucking lingerie right there. Like, look at this shit. Wait, look at this shit. There's a chick in a hot tub. Holy. Oh, holy. Look at this shit. There's a chick in a hot tub, 2,000 people, drinking a beer. Look at this shit. Nah, stop it. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. What are you guys talking about? Look at this. She not even talking. Yo, it's so great to be a girl. So did we decide what we are going to name the dog? 
Nigga, she not even doing shit. Your birthday was yesterday. Look. Oh my God, no, no fucking way. Look at this. Yeah, they are. They are. Can you show your? Oh God. Um, it leaves your mouth dry. Apple juice. Apple juice does. It does. It does. Um, it gets like all sticky. Like my, my, yeah, my mouth. Yay, three hundred bits. Woohoo! Thank you, Capcare. I guess Capcare's winning. Um, Darth Reven. Yeah, I saw like. Yeah, he definitely is improved. No, stretch marks aren't fun. I know, let it go. It's okay, it's fine. Archivist. Okay, archivist. Look! It's a hot tub bonanza! Bro, stop it, bro! Start moving again. She just turned the jets on! I add ducks for every sub. McNasty. And she add ducks to the hot? It says over here. Hello, Bunzer. What? Hello, hello. What the duck? Look! What games y'all playing? No, no way. Okay. No fucking way. No That's fucking way. Um, whole bunch of sugar. She's in a hot tub. She's in a tub with fake candles. Prison. Talk about sugar. You like to tune in your like rocks and predicts against frequency and mono frequency. Let me travel here. That's my story. Whole bunch of and console appearance. Nothing. Oh, cool. It's like PG only fans. And Zai, thank you for the resub. PG-13 OnlyFans right here. I do have bath bombs. I have a shit of them. Check it out. Let me know which one you want. Damn, I already used like three bath bombs. It's not even a resub. You said, oh, oh shit, I'm tier two? Thank you. Content. Wow. Well, you can just type like. literally. Is this content? Um, If Audrey wants me to lick a bath bomb, I'll do it. Otherwise, it's it's a it's a ten dollar dono. Taste went on stream. <clears throat> does one turn your water blue? It does. Hold on. Also, I'm just gonna <coughs> train a little bit of this, and I'm gonna add more water. Yo, that's nasty. Not just no. <laughs> like I will, I will lick it. Hey, I'm just saying, you know, it's a 50 cents for some bubbles. Fuck it, man. Listen, man, if y'all in here, I'm sorry. I got a little man boobs, but it ain't like titties that I could really, you know what I mean, clickbait with. You feel me? So if y'all in here, just feel bad for a nigga like me, please, and just use your little Twitch Prime or your Amazon Prime and just redeem a sub. That's all I ask, okay? Y'all don't want to see me in a fucking um, um, bubble bath. Like, come on now, just... It, like, matter of fact, if I don't get subs, I'm about to get in the bubble bath. Fuck that. That's my new thing. If y'all don't give me some subs, I'm in a bubble bath, nigga. I would say, like, Jimmy Smacks, but, I, like, you can't compare yourself to Jimmy Smacks. Now. After that video, I, I seen that nigga. <laughs> if I don't get a good 50 subs right now, I'm hopping in the bathtub. Fuck that. Fuck it. Y'all finna see me with a Speedo up in that bitch. I'm gonna have a Speedo in a fucking G-Unit tank top. Y'all remember these? G-Unit tank top. It look almost like a male bra. No. These right here. This is how it looked. Right here, right here. Let me click on it. Look, look at this shit. 
if I don't get some goddamn subs, I'm finna be up in the joint in a fucking speedo, or or as Big Soldier said, in a fucking leather thong. <laughs> In a leather thong. <laughs> Yo, Big Soldier said the wrestlers were weird. He said, I can't argue with no nigga wearing a leather thong. <laughs> a leather thong? <laughs> like, that's hilarious. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. Yo, young, yeah, Big, Big Draco was on. Soldier boy, IG live. He was on IG live today talking. I don't know why. Why you? Why? Why is Soldier boy on? Like he's mad every day. Like what credit does he want? Look at this. Look at this. He was going off today. Look at this. Man, shout out to all my fans. Y'all know what the fuck going on, nigga. Yeah, they bitch ass nigga talking all that shit, nigga. Now what, nigga? Now what, nigga? Number one song on TikTok, nigga. No motherfucking label. What you broke ass rapping ass puss ass niggas gonna say now, nigga? Oh shit. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Nigga talking all that shit. Oh, this nigga sold you this. Oh, this nigga Draco that. Oh, this nigga, oh, he always talking about what he did. Oh, oh. Now what you gonna say? Now what you gonna say? I don't even see you bitch ass niggas on the charts. Aha. Uh -huh. Y'all niggas got features. Y'all niggas got record deals. Y'all niggas got marketing budgets. Y'all niggas sold y'all sold to the devil. And y'all niggas still ain't beat me, nigga. I ain't forgot what you said, nigga. Broke ass, nigga. Now what you gonna say, nigga? Yeah, now what you gonna say? Lame ass, nigga. I'm number one in the whole fucking world, nigga. Talk to him, soldier. And I got your record label trying to sign me. Facts! I don't want to be label mates with you broke ass rappers. Hell, Hell nah, nah, nigga. Hey, shout out to that record label that tried to sign me. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I would sign with y'all, but y'all got a pussy ass rapper on y'all label that be sneak dissing on me. Pussy. I can't be label mates with no pussy ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So my fault. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, nigga, number one song on TikTok, broke ass nigga. Fuck you talking about? Bitch ass nigga. You got a record deal, broke boy. And I still beat you, nigga. I ain't signing with your label. I might just screenshot the contract and post the contract and show these niggas how many M's they tried to give me, nigga. Damn. Only reason I turned the deal down because your broke ass on the label, too. I don't want to be label mates with you, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> That's power. <laughs> Lame ass nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm 100% independent, bitch. I ain't signing nobody, nigga. I'm SODMG myself and went number one in the whole fucking world. Puss ass nigga. Now what the fuck you gonna say, bitch? I don't even see you niggas on the charts, nigga. I don't even see you niggas in the top 10, nigga. I don't even see you niggas in the top 20, nigga. Puss ass, nigga. Broke ass, nigga. Bitch ass, nigga. Lame ass, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Bitch ass, boy. Damn. But don't never play with me, nigga. Nigga, catch you. Knock your motherfucking teeth out your mouth, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Draco, Big nigga, fucking drink on, nigga. Soldier that, soldier that. Now what, nigga? This is so Lame bad. ass nigga. No record label. No entourage. No nothing, nigga. Just me by my fucking self. <coughs> Number one, nigga. Lame ass nigga. Niggas could never be me. I do this shit when I feel like it, pussy ass nigga. And I ain't even done yet, nigga. I'll drop another hit tonight, nigga. I'll drop another hit tomorrow, nigga. Do not play with me, nigga. I'm not one of them, nigga. Big fucking Draco. Let's go. Bitch ass nigga, if it wasn't for me, you niggas wouldn't have no fucking record deal, lame ass nigga. I was the first nigga to get signed off YouTube. You put your music on YouTube and you got a record deal and you got signed off the internet, you follow my blueprint nigga. So don't never try to sneak this on me nigga, I'll knock your bitch ass out nigga. Shit, who you talking about? Puss ass nigga, fuck you talking about nigga. Who is he talking Bitch. about? Yeah. And I'ma pop my shit, nigga. I'm number one in the fucking world, nigga. Got your record label trying to sign me. <laughs> they 
They probably drop your bitch ass now. They're gonna be like, damn, Soldier Boy ain't signed with us because of you. We dropping you, nigga. Get the fuck off the label. <laughs> Murder gang, nigga. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I got every label in the game trying to sign me, man. <laughs> I think Soldier Boy back on them shits. <laughs> he back on that famous Dex. <laughs> I'm worried for him because we start talking like this, usually going to jail. But it's great entertainment while he, like, when he's on his way. This is comedy. Fuck this shit. I'll pull these contracts up. I'll expose these niggas. I'll expose these niggas. Fuck that shit. I ain't signing to nobody. They can't, they can't blackball me. I'm already number one. Huh. What they gonna do now? I'm finna expose every motherfucking label. Fuck that. I'm finna show y'all yes, all sir. these contracts. Fuck that, we pulling up every country. I'ma show y'all. Every label in the game try to sign me right now, nigga, cause I got the number one song on TikTok, nigga. Fuck you talking about. <sighs> Bitch ass nigga. Nigga tried to play on my name. Nigga tried to hate on me. Nigga tried to say all type of shit. Nigga lied on me. Niggas lied on me. Niggas lied on me. Niggas lied on me. Niggas lied on me. To the whole fucking world, dawg. Niggas put my, niggas lied on my name to the blog. Niggas lied on my name. Niggas said all type of shit on my name, blood. I ain't say nothing to nobody, nigga. I came home from jail, nigga. I ain't clout chasing nothing, nigga. On God, nigga. I got out of jail, nigga. I ain't say no rapper name, nigga. I got out of jail, I ain't clout chase. I ain't say no rapper name. I ain't beef with nobody. I ain't do none of that. And I still went number one, nigga. They don't want you to be Man, drugs is a powerful thing, man. That nigga on that famous Dex Brown. All right. Uh, actually, I don't know. We love Soldier, man. We love when Soldier rants. Like, when Soldier start popping the shit, it sounds good. Uh, all right, we are going to listen to Fredo Bang, Clicked Up, Clicked Up. Ain't this what Young Boy accused him of doing, though? Young Boy claimed that him, Lil Dirk, and a bunch of people are clicking up against him, right? And Fredo Bang just dropped a song called, hey, do, do all these niggas rap? Like, so maybe I'm ignorant. Is this Young Boy's style? Like, because this is like almost Young Boy's cadence a bit. Like, it starts off like it's Young Boy's. Like, is it Young Boy's style or just a Louisiana style? Because I want to just give Young Boy the credit when everybody around that region raps like this. Somebody say it's Young Boy's flow. Some people say it's Baton Rouge. Somebody say, yo, uh, Fredo Bang been in his bag since, um, 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 what? Somebody said, no, it's Louisiana. That's Louisiana shit you, you said? Oh, okay, okay. Well, for, all right. Fredo Bang did a song with Lil Durk called Top. I think it's this is Lil Top. Top. Then it ain't filmed right. Listen. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's kind of fire. I ain't going to lie to you. Good job, Fredo Bang. And, you know, Dirk, Dirk Hill been on a roll. So, wait. Let me get this straight. So, Fredo Bang don't like Young Boy because they used to be on the same crew. Then Young Boy dipped. And then there's a dude named G Money, and G Money got killed, something like that. I think I'm getting the shit, man. It's like it's like I'm, I'm learning this Negroology over here, man. It's like Coonery 101, right? All right. Anyway, um, let me see. Yo, y'all fuck with this new, y'all fuck with this new um, Blue Face and DDG song. They dropped a new song, or they about to drop a new song together, clearly. Look, look at this shit. Look at baby, I fuck with me, opportunity in life, yeah. I got bitches at the house, they ready to fight, yeah, I Don't the gold box, just bring me the check. Let them thighs, I don't care for the breast. No kids, he put these diamonds straight to the tail. Young rich nigga got a whole lot of dollars. Bad bitch with me, she an IG model. She won't drink, I ain't got no bottle. Till I get up on her knees, I'ma go for a throttle. Sure to get wet when she dry this boat. Shipping with she cups, she ain't got no coat. 
Got a full flow when it's D your toe. I be all up in emotion, got no throat. You niggas better know better. We don't know no better. These records finna break these records. Project them on paper, then the page projects. She got Ooh. a nigga, we look better together. I don't know who need to hear this, but nigga, forget it. You sweating a bitch, I just got her a sweater. Once a good girl go bad forever. Can't get a baby, gotta let her go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nah, that's just. Y'all ain't fucking with this? Baby, y'all fuck with me. Opportunity. Like, yeah. I got bitches at the house that ready to fight. Yeah, all right. Don't take gold box, just bring me the check. Leggin' thighs, I don't care for the breast. No kids, he put these diamonds straight to the tail. Young rich nigga got a whole lot of dollars. Bad uh. bitch with me, she an IG model. She uh. gon' drink, I ain't got no bottle. Till I get uh. up on her knees, I'ma go for a throttle. Sure to get wet when she dry this boat. Shift it with she cup, she ain't got no coat. Got a full flow when it's D your toe. I'm y'all up in her mouth, she ain't got no throat. Blue face be holding a little floater. Don't know no better. These records finna break these records. Project them on paper, then the page projects. She got a nigga, but we look better together. I don't know who needs. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like Blueface be spitting these days, bro. I always thought like he had the bars, but like, bro, he just be still spitting clever shit. Need to hear this, but nigga, forget it. You sweating a bitch. I just got her a sweater. Once a good girl go bad forever. Can't get a baby, gotta let her go. Hoes on the nigga, hoes drive the boat on the road, 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 road. Somebody said, type it in on YouTube. This shit's on YouTube chat? Is this on YouTube? What's this shit called? Let me look it up. DG. Blue face today. Yeah. I got bitches at the house that ready. Bottle till I get up on her knees, I'ma go for a throttle. Should it get wet when she dry this boat? Should it when she cook, she ain't got no cup. It's gonna break these records, project them on paper, then the page project them forever. Can't get up. I ain't gonna lie, blue face shit sound nice. I'm gonna skip the blue face part. You know he's got. I got every music. <laughs> I just ain't gonna play no drink. <laughs> hey. get wet when she dry this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get to, let me get to it. Hold on. Can spin break these records, project them on paper, then the page projected. She got a nigga, but we look better together. I don't know who need to hear this, but nigga, forget her. You sweating the bitch, I just got her a sweater. Once a good girl. <laughs> you sweating the bitch, I just got that bitch a sweater. <laughs> ah! Yo, Blueface, well, he's the last of a dying breed. Mr. Give No Fucks. Hard on thoughts. Connoisseur. <laughs> Nah, this shit fire. You niggas better know better. We don't know no better. These records finna break these records. Project them more paper than a paper jet. Got a nigga, but we look better together. I don't know who need to hear this, but nigga, forget her. You sweating the bitch, I just got her a sweater. Once a good girl go bad forever. You can't get her back, you gotta let her. So, go, 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 go. Hoes only hang with hoes, drive the boat on the road. Ripping and running through a bitch stomach. We don't press no charges, bitch, we press the button. Push the star, care from pushing the button. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, nah, nah, this shit's hard. I'm telling you, I've been moving shit. This shit's hard. This shit's hard. This shit's hard, chat. Holy shit. DDG went crazy too. I, I don't want to give out too much of the record, okay? I got to go back. Y'all ain't hear this from here, all right? Y'all stench on me, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think DDG and Blueface need to do like a little EP. Four songs. A little four song joint. I think they be on the same wave. Like, you know, Blueface is dope where, like, I think what he does with the, the Bad Girls Club shit or the Blue Girls Club shit, 
that's almost like being like kind of like a vlogger, but in a dope rap way. Like dope rap lifestyle, like people not going to look at you as a YouTuber way. And I think DDG kind of broke out of that just YouTuber title. And like, he's like, he's like cool YouTuber where like you see him as a rapper and a YouTuber. I think their energy meshes. I think DDG and his style ma match or mesh. I think they should do just four songs. This is not paid promotion. No, it's not, my nigga. I, I really actually just, bruh. If somebody tells you that, yo, I fuck with D. I'm going to be honest with you. I've... I like DDG and I fuck with him a little bit different since like he did on the sticks and we like we we went out to like some party together like you know like he's a cool dude bro so I root for him and Blueface always just thought it was cool but um I kind of like this song bro but we'll see we will see uh a six nine update what is six nine up to you want me to call him. I'm about, to, I'm about to call him. If you don't answer. Oh. Yeah, he's probably busy. Yo, I just looked up. It's 2 o'clock. What time did I start streaming? All right, anyway. He's back from the Dominican Republic. He did update me. Operation, get his girl back. Success. You know, I mean, you know, uh, uh, and by the way, you know, I'm glad, like, she makes him happy. He loves her. Good for them. You know? But 6 9 definitely followed the, the, the Quavo. Well, Future kind of be doing that, too, now. The the he followed the little baby formula to a T. You feel me? Your girl mad at you over some shit? Get her a couple bags. <laughs> she'll be all, she'll be all right. <laughs> you feel me? Yo, like women these days, like women these days, they already told you they. Yo, none of these girls is rapping about just don't cheat on me. I love you. Don't break my heart. Nope. Nobody even be caring about that. It just be like yo, spend the bag, give me the money. Like yo, buy me this. Like that's all they want. So, of course, cheat all you want. Just be able to pay for it. That's a, I'm telling you, for all rappers, cheat all you want. You just got to be down to pay for this shit. Feel me? Yeah, women are materialistic these days. Like, like if you see a chick say, like, oh, my God, he cheated. That means you ain't, you ain't buy nothing to make up for it. Like, you could buy, you could pay for your cheat. You feel me? Put it like this. I think some hating ass chick like told told like you know six nines girl something about him. Made up some lie. I think his girl probably believed it for a little bit till him bags came in. Yo, that bitch is lying. <laughs> that bitch <is> lying. <laughs> you feel me? That's how it goes, baby. That's how it goes. You know how that's how it goes. Somebody said, Doovy, what up with Doovy, man? There's rumors that Doovy got signed to uh, Dream Chasers. Apparently, I heard he got offered a deal from the Chasers. And I heard he possibly turned it down. And he said he signed to the streets. That's good. I, yo, I won't tell you where I heard this from. I heard this from a Toronto rap. Actually, I, I won't tell y'all who told me, but it wasn't this nigga. I call it names. <laughs> They said they said Meek Mill try try to sign Pressa. Was it like last year? I can't remember what. Try to sign Pressa for like twenty thousand, and he was going to give him a a ten month lease. Like was it like a Rolls Royce? Yeah, it was a Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah, offered that nigga twenty grand. And told him to he'll pay a, a ten month lease of a Rolls Royce. Fuck it. 
<laughs> fuck it, man. <laughs> fuck it, bro. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I did not hear that from Pressa. I love Pressa. I'm still trying to find out if Pressa made his op suck each other's dick. That is wild. Pressa, you need to come back to my live stream. I got some questions for you, Pressa. Pressa be laughing, be joking. I ain't like, I didn't know that Pressa was on that type of demon type of stuff. From what I got told by, cut by a few rappers who claim Meek tried to sign him, they said Meek is cheap. Not that he don't got it, he just he ain't gonna give it to you. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But that is a music game, you feel me? I heard Meek one time on Clubhouse trying to defend it, be like, yo, if y'all gonna take 20 grand from those white executives, why are you not gonna take it from me? Why I gotta give you more? And shit, he might have a fucking point. I had heard that little pump, his first, first deal was for 30 grand. So I heard, nigga. Such is life, bro. Joe Button update. Joe Button's doing great. Okay? Joe Button, you know what I mean? He's not he's not worrying about those fucking stooges anymore. If they come back, they come back. Matter of fact, if they come back, he's lowering their pay. <laughs> As he fucking should. Lower their pay. Bitch, you missed out a couple of weeks. And you're definitely replaceable now. Your pay got cut. As he should. Like, Joe always knew it that he was the only talented nigga there. But, like, you know, sometimes, like, your audience will start falling in love with other people around the shit. If Joe if Joe doesn't show up for three weeks, 90% of the audience is gone. Remember that. Them niggas don't show up for three weeks, the views are up 30%. <laughs> what the fuck? Think about that. Them niggas were literally dead weight. Dead weight. You move faster without them. So Joe is doing well. You know what I mean? They said they doing their own show. No, they didn't. <laughs> that should be a flop. I get that shit two months. You know, it's going to be the dick riders who claim like, oh, no. they're really Joe fans. But they'll be like, oh, no. I, yo, Joe, we don't like how you treated the Stooges. They're going to go there for like, they're going to endure four weeks of that shit and said, this is intolerable. I am out. I am out. <laughs> DDG and, 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 and Blueface got taped together? Oh, shit. That's, that's lit. That's lit. That's lit. Y'all gonna, gonna stop fronting on Blueface, man. Like, that nigga ain't killed that, that verse. DDG, what is it? Blueface and DDG, Jose the B&B. Yo, that shit was fire. That's the moonwalking shit. Here we go. Right here. He's cool, bro. All right. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Mm -mm -mm. Yo, I like that song, bro. I'm telling you. Maybe I, maybe I only like it because I, I, I got it. But whatever. The, I'm talking about a new one. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, what... What else are we talking about? The podcast update? I I can't give y'all no update right now. There's things happening behind the scenes. I, I I'm I, it's fastly approaching me making a very important decision, and I really want to involve you guys in it, but I don't know really how I can because um as you guys also know right like so my show on the sticks is about to return to complex. So I'll be doing business with complex again. Um, but you know, everyday struggle still isn't there. And you know, that's really the last time I've been there, but I've never shit on complex, you know, like with any business partners, like that's just not how I do business. You know what I mean? Like, like nigga, I'm, I don't need any other partner for me to be good. So it's not that if, a relationship or like a show or whatever ends, I got to be slandering you. So I've kept like pretty good relationships with, you know, pretty much every company I've ever like worked with. Um, and, and, and I'm really speaking about like the podcast, like there's an important decision I have to make, which is coming up soon. I keep telling the people with me, I say, yo, just like, this is so fucking, it's just moving at snail's pace. Like, just hit me when I get to pick which direction I want to go. 
And I would love to include y'all in that, but I think it would expose, you know, some of the people who are trying to work with me, which, you know, might ruin those relationships. So I, I'll give you the update, but what I keep hearing is any day now, <laughs> like, and I fucking hate that. You don't even know how much I hate it. 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 But I'm hearing like, it's really good things, really good things. A uh, boogie update, man. I hear a, a boogie has his album done. I, I gotta really talk to his team to see if, you know, because he broke up with Ella, or they were broke. She broke up with him. I'm wondering if he's gonna change the content around a little bit, because heartbreak music is really where he thrives, and he was in a relationship with her for most of like I think we was creating the album, but I heard like there's a few joints that he's waiting for to really have in a stash before they're like, let's get this shit going. And they're waiting for songs that are fucking smash hits. Like the comparison I was given was they're like, yo, we need to make sure this next project has a swerving on it, has a star tenders, has a, what was the other song? Um, it was one that sounded a lot like Michael Jackson. What's that song called? Y'all about to tell me right now. You, you look back. Look at yeah, look back at it. Um, Tori and Megan update. I don't know, man. I don't know how it, you know, it, it's it's I think it's looking a little bit bleak for Tori, man. The streaming services ain't, ain't budging. They not about to give him no chance until after the case is decided. I think he's in a tough fucking spot. I like his projects. I think he's putting out the best music of his life. He's not going to get no support. Meg can't stop winning awards. Meg's career keep going up. Even sometimes with subpar music. Tori's dropping phenomenal shit and nobody gives a fuck. And I think he thought that like, yo, people would have, you know, by now be like, yo, like, wait. There's enough like question marks in whatever story you want to believe that maybe we should just chill back and let shit play out and not blackball them or whatever the case is. But I think people are just like, nah, we're not fucking with Tori at all. They're still not fucking with him. What are you talking about? Am I rocking with this Fortnite season? Of course. What, what, what else did I want to talk about? By the way, yo, it's tough waters for T.I., man. T.I. just caught three more allegations. And, you know, even though it affects Tiny, it's really like, you know, they're aiming at T.I., right? Like, obviously, Tiny and him, they're, in, they're married. But T.I. has these allegations that has stopped everything to do with his business. And even though he came out on, on, on IG Live and said, yo, this ain't true, Man, T.I. is radioactive. Nobody wants to touch him because of these allegations. And truth be told, how could you ever prove these allegations unless you go to court? And even if you go to court, people seeing you in court, almost they look at you like you're guilty already. So it's like, I think, like, T.I. is fucked, like, in a lot of ways. Like, his reality show, the production company, the network that usually airs it, they don't want to do it. They're like, nah, we're not about to do it right now. Like, Nigga, they, they talking about you crazy. Now it could all be a lie. It could he could be innocent. But nobody really wanna give that shit even a time of day. He was supposed to be in a movie, Ant Man. Show. Sure. They told that nigga, yo, kick rocks. Essentially, and I don't even know how he gets out of this. Because as someone, as a, if you're a male and you get accused of shit. Again. What happens is it's strength in numbers, and then after a certain number, people just gain the mentality, well, all of them can't be lying. So you can't really do nothing. Like, he's at really the mercy of, like, everything that's going to happen. And he could come out and be like, oh, well, so-and-so told me, like, they would have retracted their statement if I offered them money. Nobody going to care. So I don't know.
Is Comethazine's career over? What what year was he on Double XL? Double XL freshman list. Is it 2019? Yeah, it was 2019. That was a good year. What is he doing? Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Like, a lot of these niggas who broke in the last, like, three, four years, some of them are delusional. Like, some of these niggas really think, like, they're, they're that talented that, like, time waits for them. Some of these niggas, I'm telling you, their career's over. They don't know it yet. Because they ain't even trying to put out music yet. They're like, oh, no, people still love me. Like, look at my Instagram. Like, yo, yo, they still be, like, commenting. Yeah, nigga. Some of these dudes don't even realize people were more interested in the show than their music. And now the show is quieting down. They're like, mm, they think it was the music. They're like, oh, no. Like, okay, my, my attention's a little bit low, but when I put out music, they're going to care. No. Dirk and Baby tape update. From, so that's the Interscope Capital collaboration. From what I hear, like, you know, they were figuring out how they're releasing it, and that shit should be out soon. Do I think Kodak will work with YB again? Nah. Chef G update. Don't have any update for him. Oh, CLB update. Oh, I promised y'all I was going to hit Drake about that. I did hit him about the Rod Wave thing, and he confirmed to me, he said, yeah, um, Rod Wave was supposed to be on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. I might have told y'all that last stream, which, which you know what I mean? I didn't even bother to ask him, like, yo, bro, slide me that leaked version of his of, of like him on the track. But where is Certified Lover Boy? Yo, we're still five months in, and the biggest releases this year has been Rod Wave and Dirk and Pooh Shiesty. Name me another big release this year. Wait, I said, where's YB on my EJ? I don't know where he's at. Let me see. Is that nigga here? Man, Jay probably fucking a bitch right now, man. I was I was I was a little bit surprised that 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 him and the mirror weren't that close anymore. You know what somebody told me about Namir? They said Namir promotes his girl or used to promote his, promote his girl when they promote his music. Like, there's multiple people just kind of just saying that to me. Like, yo, Namir is so much in love that his music is, a, is taking a severe backseat to his love life. And if you look, which, by the way, he's one of the rappers that need Instagram and that optic. You know how some of these rappers, they use Instagram just to show you all their guns, but really they just want you to know that they're a killer, that they could keep rapping about killer stuff. Like, in the mirror for like about a year, year and a half, was promoting the fact that he was happy in love. Which at that point, when you saw rapping about, oh, take a nigga bitch, take a nigga bitch, and I fuck her on this shit. Like, after a while, it's like, bro, you're ha like, you're like happy in love, brother. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? But... I do feel like he's getting a lot of, you know, uh, pressure. A lot of people getting at him. So, you know, I want to I send him some support. I don't want to keep piling on. Utopia update? I don't got an update for that. Why? Why are they trying 6 9 Who's trying 6 9 DR rappers, are they? Wait, was um the DR rappers like like mad at him? Who in the DR was mad at Six Nine? 
I know a couple of Dior rappers like Ro I can't even roll my R's. Rochi. <laughs> oh, El Alpha was? Yeah, I know El Alpha. El Alpha. I mean, I'm looking on his Instagram right now. Did he say something? Well, he can't be that mad at like 6ix9ine. Like he's posted up with with, with um, what's the dude's name? He's posted up with uh a CJ. How I know Rochi? I know Rochi for the, from this song. Actually, Angelica put me on. I ain't you. From this song right here. Lamar Odom versus, what's that name? Aaron Carter. These two are boxing each other. The winner gets a crack rock. This shit's going to be crazy. They got to have famous decks on the undercard. Like, this is going to be legendary. I just want, like, they got to have doctors and paramedics on standby. Like shit, they might give these more these motherfuckers like mid round a fucking water break and and, and and fucking a snort of coke and say get back in there, nigga. Oh, he punch you in the eye? Yo, snort this line right here, nigga. Get back in there, man. Get the fuck go ahead, man. Like this is bad, ain't this two addicts? Yo, Grand Wizard, you right? These things might be fighting for hours. Yo, nigga, we said nine rounds, not nine hours? The fuck is you doing? The winner gets a kilo of Coke. I don't know, man. How much money do you think they're getting to fight? Would you pay for it? A, a Lamar Odom fight. I be worried about Lamar Odom's like health, yo. Wasn't one time he was in a hospital like fighting for life and like Chloe came by him and shit. Aaron Carter looks funny. He looks like he's either like nineteen. Or 55. I can't tell. Hmm. All right. Good for them. Boxing seems like the wave, man. What the fuck? Wait, let me see what's going on. Culture Millennials, what are you talking about? You said Uzi slid in Miami's baby father's sister DM? Ain't Miami's baby father Southside? Ooh, Southside, what the fuck is going on? I just think Southside got to chill, man. Like, I get it, Carisha Brownlee is your baby mama, but bro, it, it looked like you're doing too much and you're, and you're putting out like a very, like, yo, you know what I hate when rappers say? Yo, I'm not one of these industry niggas. Bro, Yes, you are. <laughs> like, come on. Man. Like, like everybody wants to be too real. You know what I mean? Like, you are. Come on now. Like, nigga, you're communicating online to a bunch of fans. That's industry. It's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, everybody would act like they're the biggest killer in the biggest street, guys. Now, I get what he's saying. He's just saying that, like, from what I'm, from what I hear him saying, he says a nigga like Uzi ain't. 
tough at all. And he's tough too, but y'all both in the street. I don't know. I was a little bit weird in the situation because I don't know why Southside is always taking it to Instagram live like that. If you know these niggas, just DM them. Unless you're trying to make other people aware of the situation, which is exactly why the police are investigating you with the Kodak situation. They're investigating you because they're wondering who the heck shot up or shot at or in the vicinity of Kodak and there's only one nigga who been dissing him saying, let's meet up and we go bump. You, you just volunteered yourself as a suspect. Remember when I was telling Meek, when Meek was like, yo, I'm going to get your ass. I'll put your ass. In. If something happened to my crib, like, you know, the first person they go look at Meek Mill, nigga. I think I'd probably go down to the station and write his name in there. Like, do you know who did it? Rameek Williams. <laughs> the fuck? Get it done. Nigga, you snitched on yourself. Like why would you like why do why do the thugs tell you online what they're gonna do? I just don't understand what's going on. Like the thugs tell you what they're about to do. Yo, we could do this, we could do that, yo, I could do this. Why are you saying why are you front your move? You're literally like, I'm telling you, and those are the people that are the quickest to say to somebody. Remember, remember I said the same thing with and I fuck with him. Six hundred breezy. Yo, six time when I see you, I'm going to jail. I'm not meek. I'm going to jail. Two weeks later, yo, this thing is six time really the feds. The cops been on my ass. Like, are you serious, bro? Like, just really think about this shit. Just think about this shit. This shit don't make no sense, bro. This thing said he's going to jail. And then two weeks later, he says, bro, six time really the feds. We got to make some sense of this shit, bro. Like, this shit is not making no sense. So put it like this. This is what usually happens. The cops are going to probably, like, fucking be... They're watching Southside. You heard Southside. He always rides with a stick, sort of the choppers and the drums in the center third. I don't even know if he's legally could carry a gun. But he's telling people that he always rides with him. All the cops is going to do is... Pull you over for something. And then when they you they lock you up, you know, you know what people are gonna say to fans? Yo, that's Kodak's fault. You nobody, you know I realize when people get locked up, nobody blames the nigga who got locked up. It's always everybody around him. Like, I remember shit, even when 6ix9ine got locked up, niggas was like, yo, yo, this nigga's like Axe's fault. What the fuck? I ain't telling him to join Treyway. I ain't tell him to do all that dumb shit. Matter of fact, I was trying to tell him to stop. Usually that person knows something. Like, 6 9 talk, six nine talk say, six, six, yo, I, ain't nobody for that guy locked up but me. But, like, fans become sympathetic when somebody get locked up. Like, you look for somebody else to blame. Sometimes the only explanation for some of these niggas getting locked up is, yo, that nigga did some dumb ass shit. That was illegal. So good. Damn, I'm, I'm live for three hours already. <laughs> Remember when they tried to, they, they was trying to say, yo, act, I was, they said, act, you're the person who snitched on Treyway. The fuck did I know? <laughs> Check DM. All right, I'm checking the DM right now. What the fuck? Okay, so Young Miami is baby daddy's sister. How many kids Young Miami has? 
expose Uzi for being in her DMs. This is too much love and hip hop shit, bro. I'm good. Culture Millennials, man. Salute to, salute to my guy right there. You know, he running the blog as well. As, you know, show him some love. One of, a, one of a, our chat niggas, you know, he helps me out from time to time too. So love right there. Yo, Kodak and Pooh Shice, they cool now. Like, they commented on their, on their, boat, on their, on their, their respective pictures. And Kodak had said something and said, yo, I, I get you, little bro. And then somebody was like, yo, is Kodak being funny? Like, they, they thought, like, Kodak was trying to play him. And he confirmed, he said, nah, we cool. So Pooh Shice confirms that him and Kodak is cool. Which, a lot of times, truthfully, like, nobody really you know, reports on the beef getting squashed and the fact that they don't have issues. But when they do have issues, everybody reports on. But I'm here to tell you that they are cool according to Push High State. <laughs> Roddy Rich update. I think Roddy Rich... <laughs> Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich went crazy on this joint. Actually, I think this song should do good. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that shit's fire. Fire! Fire! Yo, hip-hop's a little bit boring, man. Like, we need, like, a new, uh, a big album to drop, and we're not seeing the heavyweights of the people who we think are the heavyweights dropping, which, you know, is kind of unfortunate because, you know, I, I think they're all sitting around on their hands, you know, waiting for Drake or just watching each other. Like, they're trying to look at who's going to pop out first, you know, 2021, you know, 2020 was the year that a lot of people had to drop. And if they did drop, it was either they extended their career or their shit was over. 2021 is the due date for a lot of people where, like, two, three, two, some of y'all, even if y'all do drop, you're done. You know what I mean? Or your prime is over. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of ways in being done. You know, it doesn't mean that nobody will ever listen to your music. You could just be over in terms of, hey, your prime is over. You get me? Like, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of rappers that I think in the last couple of years went from being in their prime to legacy acts. You feel me? Like, um, Rick Ross is one of them. He's a legend. He's a legacy act, though. You know, I don't think he'll be competing with the the newer rappers in terms of hottest street dude. But like, yo, you know, you have a lot of respect for him. This and third. You know, even Meek, you know, despite whatever issues, you know, like, I think Meek is a legacy act at this point where um, I, 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 don't, I don't even think I'm looking at Meek to compete with Lil Baby and Pooh or I hope he's not trying to. You know, he's a legend at the end of the day, and he's a legacy act. You know, people are going to listen to him or they're not going to listen to him. But, you know, it's up to him if he tries to go out trying to, you know, compete with the newer acts, like the young boys and shit like that, which I think is just hard to keep up with. Um, and maybe he does the numbers, but I don't know if the impact is still there. There's a, there's a lot of rappers in the last couple of years. Boogie's not legacy yet. No, no, I don't think Boogie needs to have, like, that legit. I don't even think Boogie's got his full accolades yet. I don't think Boogie's a legacy act yet. I think YG's a legacy act at this point. You know, I think YG had his run where, like, it was his prime and this and third. I think now we just have a tremendous respect for him because he was the dude coming out, repping for the Bloods pretty much after the game, you know, kind of showing a different side of gangbanging. And, you know, that 2012 to 2015 era for him was pretty good. But I think these days, like, we remember those times, remember what he did with Mustard, and I think he's grandfathered in, you know what I mean? Why be not a leg, legacy act? Why be hot right now? Like, he's not a legacy act. You feel me? YG is a legacy act. You feel me? And, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with being a legacy act because, like, if you're a legacy act, you're pretty much, you're considered a legend. You know? Somebody says Drake. If the, the moment Drake doesn't hit, he's going to be a legacy act. You get me? But still, he's kind of still in the game competing a bit. Like, we could probably have a conversation on, like, who's rapping better, Drake or Baby. You know what I mean? And and that, that says he's still in the game. 
like when he goes the Eminem route or he goes the Jay Z route, where where I drop when I want and my music ain't really to compete with the current climate. It's just to compete, or no, it's just to be another entry into the Hall of Fame conversation, you know, by me. Then they become legacy acts. You get me? Oh my God. Yeah, they already took down the Julio snippet. I seen that. I seen that. They're not letting that shit live. That nigga called out 17 people's names. Like, I'm just, the hell? Shit, I don't even. That nigga called out more dead people's names than 6ix9ine could tell on people alive. Like, that shit was crazy. That shit was. Uh, whatever. whatever. Rod Wave and Lil Top watch Rod's story. Okay, okay. You got some. Wait, Rod Wave got some with, 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 um. I'll look at it. We young boy coming? I remember I told young boy that I want him to work with Rod Wave, and he agreed. Like, he, he fucks with Wave, uh, Rod Wave a lot. Wait, there's another story. So, Alamo Records, then this, then this. Okay. All right, anyway, I'm, I'm about to get on stream chat. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, let me know. Am I am I deleting the VOD or am I keeping it up? Like, yeah, there was some girls that were like, like them girls. Like, first of all, that video is over on YouTube. Number one, like I didn't I showed a YouTube video, right? And also, I've played music videos with more, with with more like explicit stuff, where people are dancing. And a lot of these chicks on Twitch, they kind of look like those girls. You get me? Again, please subscribe to... Uh, I I'll put this page up there. Please subscribe to... Um, it's YouTube.com. It's YouTube.com slash King Academics. Please go there and subscribe. You'll get all my Twitch clips on there. If you don't know, if you haven't seen, give me some credit, damn it. Recently, I've been uploading more often, at least once a day on YouTube, and I've been trying to go live on Twitch. You know, maybe I'm not doing four videos a day on YouTube, but I'll give you at least a video a day. And maybe I don't give you the six hours that sometimes you might be used to on Twitch, but I give you at least three. You get me? And, like, even now we're at three, three and three and a half hours. So uh, I'm still trying to juggle both and kind of get back in a routine of things. The thing with like streaming. And remember when I used to upload like seven videos a day, it's all about having that routine and still being able to find that balance within your life. You know, um, I'm very appreciative of how y'all support me, how the we've kind of been on a run recently. I like all of that. And um, I'm going to try to keep it up. So again, stream today. Hopefully I could pop in and do a stream tomorrow, at least give y'all like two hours put up some YouTube videos tomorrow again too. Obviously I'm going to keep up with the Instagram as well. So chat, listen, I'm going to get off here for now. And I can have some type of semblance of possible sleep. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I know I promised that I didn't promise, but I said Jay was going to be on here. I see him on discord, you know, like I kind of want to bring some women on here in a different manner than how I used to bring them in 2016. So if you're expecting the thousand challenge, the thousand common challenge, which was Actually, maybe we could do that still, you know? <laughs> we just got to code it. Yeah, we still got the secret chat Twitter, man. You know, we, yeah, we, we just, y'all know how we do. Y'all know, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you'll find out, all right? Chat, listen, thank y'all for rocking with me. Let me play my outro music like always. You know what I always say, man? Uh, listen, some of my inspirational speech now. I'm mad at porn. You know I'm mad at porn up? Yo, porn up used to have like the unverified videos up. Like you could find anything. I used to be looking up twin porn, not like, like, twin like like twin threesomes right like it's like two girls that are like identical twins like in front you know what i mean now they took off all that shit the shit they got is lame now man this shit's got your yeah, porn up fell off bro i ain't gonna lie to you you know what's better than porn up yo i ain't gonna lie yo they about to be grossed out i ain't gonna lie to you man one morning i was horny as a motherfucker I'm on Pornhub. I'm catching all type of L's. Like, first of all, Pornhub got more ads than a motherfucker. It got more ads on YouTube these days. 
And I'm trying to find my right videos. You know me, I love my like amateur joints. So I'm trying to find it. Nigga, I'm catching arthritis, carpal tunnel, trying to find a goddamn video. I got 1,500 tabs open, nigga. I was stressed out. You know what saved me that morning? The chat nigga Discord. NSFW, man. Listen, man. Plug King came in. Yo, Plug King. Plug King is the GOAT, man. I'm telling you, man. Discord held a nigga down, bro. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think I handled my business. Then I had to DM the chick. I said, yo. <laughs> Y'all was up in that junk. I was, <laughs> nigga, I did my thing to the video. And then, you know, they had a little OnlyFans thing right there. I, I went on the page. You know, I ain't paying for shit. I found the social media and I DM'd that joint. I called it virtually. Now I'm trying to catch it in real life. What's the problem, bro? Uh, you know, she answered. She answered. She answered. Feel me? You know what be fucking me up? These chicks, like, I've met, like, some chicks who got OnlyFans. They be asking me dumb shit, like, Yo, you want to do a scene with me? I'm like, Wait, all right. what the fuck I look like, man? Man, anyway. <laughs> I put you on the She's Freaky, nigga. She's Freaky is, is washed. Well, actually, is it popping back in? I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Between my Discord and Reddit, it's all you need, man. Pornhub about to get deleted off my bookmarks, man. Like, Reddit be having a shit. Like, Reddit? Like, like when I'm on Reddit and, and, and it, it, it hits you with a splash screen, NSFW, I will go like this. Hmm. Crack my neck real quick. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, man. Reddit's a great place, man. You're ready the only place you could like you could find spoilers to a movie. You could find Wall Street tips and you could get you could drain your balls by watching some of those great fucking content videos, man. Reddit's an amazing fucking place. I still don't got an account of it. I gotta make one. I ain't gonna lie to you. Reddit's amazing. Reddit Reddit's amazing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Reddit is fucking amazing. Shit. Anyway, chat. Uh, if y'all still in here, man, don't forget, like, if y'all got Amazon Prime or your mama got it, just hijack that junk, log into Twitch. Just click, like, there's some Amazon Prime thing you could do. If you're not a sub, you could use your Amazon Prime thing to become a sub. You could get up in the Discord. You feel me? Just grab your Jergens. You know what I mean? Grab your little Cetaphil or whatever that that, that, that little oily-ass lotion is. You know what I mean? Or grab that, you know, Johnston and Johnson's. Oh, man, the baby lotion comes in work. Um, or, you know what I mean? Grab some little hemp C or something like that. Hemp Z, whatever the fuck this is. What type of, is this weed lotion? Pure herbal extracts. What the fuck is this? Anyway, grab some of that. You feel me? Get to work, brother. Get to motherfucking work. Okay? That's all you got to do. Get to work. <laughs> gets, nah, I don't use that this or this. I use this. I used to use this for like, cause everyday struggle is down here. Y'all some nasty niggas, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even use lotion. Like real talk, I don't even use lotion. Nigga, I'm not I'm not lathering up my dick, nigga. What type of dry ass penis you got that you need me fucking lotion? What type of anti chafing shit you trying to do? I get it in, nigga. <laughs> For real, nigga. If you if you use lotion to masturbate, you definitely use lube to fuck every girl. Y'all use lotion? I'm trying to get to. Remember, I keep playing that shit from uh, 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 um uh, Wolf of Wall Street. I'm trying to get to the point where like, remember that nigga said he said Yo, when you get good at this shit. You'll start fucking beating one off to the thought of money. Like, you like, I know some people who, who claim they masturbate to their thoughts. Like, that's that's next level. Like, if you could beat off to your thoughts, fuck. 
Actually, everybody ever told me that they got a big ass forehead, they probably see shit in 4K. Like, their thoughts is in 4 fucking K. <laughs> yeah, they, they, their shit is in 4K. They, they don't need to see the visual shit, man. Now, I'm telling you, though. Now, I got I to gotta see the shit. But somebody told me they like they be using a flashlight. Like, is that some shit? Actually, no, nah, I ain't even gonna cap with you. The first time I heard that, I think that's when I was flaming at him. I, so I was watching his shit for some con like I needed to get some ammunition. So, you know, I, I study all my ops. Like all my ops, I watch everything y'all do. Trust me. But me, me, Adam, we cool now. Anyway, I'm watching this shit and they mentioned something called a flashlight. What the fuck is that? I think it was like a pocket pussy or something like that, man. Anyway, man, I just chalked it up to some white people stuff, but like, still, bruh, like, like, bruh, you know what I mean? Like, I could never do like a sex doll or some shit like that, bruh, like, hmm? nah, I couldn't do that, I couldn't do that, I couldn't do that. Tanzanian and, yo, Ethiopian girls are fire, you were right. Tide Track says, fleshlight's way better than your hands, act. Nigga. There's nothing better. Let me tell you, there's not a bad bitch on planet Earth that's better than these. <laughs> Let me tell you that this, because I've gotten tired of any bitch I've ever smashed. I've never got tired of these fucking ten fingers. I've never did. Okay, any chick I've like some of the chicks I'm like yo, damn she's bad. After the fifteenth fuck, my dick is like, when are we gonna get something new? These two motherfuckers right here. They ain't never, my nigga ain't never say, bruh, let's switch it up. Get somebody else's head. Fuck no, nigga. <laughs> Fuck no, I'm just keeping a chill with y'all, man. Keeping a chill with y'all. <laughs> uh, somebody said, I was say you finger yourself, my nigga. No, I meant my hands, nigga, but uh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Oh man, I'm not drunk at all. Actually, this is one of the few streams I'm about to end where I'm the mere fact I, I'm not rushing off stream and I told you I was ending stream, y'all should know I'm not drunk. I actually feel good. I drank, but I didn't drink too much, so I'm not drunk. Most times by the end of the stream, I'm drunk. Somebody says Axe smacks his own booty while he while he beats it, beats off. What the fuck? I watched the porno, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. This shit tripped me out. Like, usually I ain't even gonna lie. No cap. Like, somehow my brain and my vision blocks out the nigga that's in the video fucking. It's like almost like virtual reality. That becomes me. So, like, I don't even look at that person, right? But this one motherfucker was so distracting, he was fucking a bit. And then he kept using his hands to pinch his own nipples. This shit was fucking me up. What is this... What is this little Nas X motherfucker doing? <laughs> this thing it was it was fucking up like it was fucking up the pussy vibes. Like what's going on here? How you in the pussy and you still trying to turn yourself on by tweaking your own nipples? Shit was fucked up. It was the goofiest shit I've ever seen. Maybe I'm the only one who's seen some shit like that. I'm like, nigga, you're already in the pussy and you, like, the nigga's over here like, I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is this nigga doing, man? Grab her hair, like, grab her weight, like, start twerking it out. <sighs> I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing, man? Goofy ass nigga, man. I think I blocked the whole channel. Y'all know my account, yo, I have a account on Pornhub, it's like, now I ain't gonna tell you. I gonna hit y'all gonna hack it real quick because the, the password is, I think it's just password. Y'all log into that bitch. Lord, you, you would you would think you probably see like I probably got like a thousand, no, probably like fifteen hundred videos in my favorites. D Prince a hundred. Pause, nigga. It's like pause. <laughs> like he said, act. I know who you're talking about. Pause. If you if you could recognize niggas by me describing an action, pause, my brother. Pause. I've gone a lot. Twitter got better porn than Pornhub.
Twitter do got some good porn. <clears throat> Somebody said, what subreddit I'm on? I don't pay for OnlyFans because I'm broke and I'm cheap. So, like, whatever girl I find on, 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 on like, the Discord or, like, I've seen she got OnlyFans in her bio, I type her name in and I type Reddit right afterwards. It's a Google search. And then she got OnlyFans, it'll pop up, and there'll be some other simps and people like that. They did the work ready for me. So they got the links ready. They got the videos ready for me. So I'm like, man, thank you. Fuck, do I got to go pay for work anymore? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, this shit's already for free. Why the hell am I? Like, so I said, do I watch blacked? Nah, 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 nah. Like, I don't like videos that are blacked. Like, because they be playing up on that racism shit too much, man. Like, I like I don't want to watch no video where I feel like I'm a slave. Nah, I'm good. Mm -mm. Watch. Watch Riley Reed get blacked. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. And, and it seems just wrong. You know, I, I'm good. Like, if it's titled like, yo, watch Riley Reed take on the BBC. Okay, cool. Cool, that sounds all right. But watch her get black. Like, this, this, sound, this sound wrong. This sound, this sound like some dirty shit. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yo, Grand Wizard know what it is. Detroit Thotty POV. Yo, I'm, a, I'm probably one of the only people who type in nigga. In, <laughs> yo, I, I literally, I was searching a porn like yesterday, nigga. I typed in, uh, I was typing, I was typing, uh, if you really want to find some nigga shit, you got to type like the niggas do. I don't even type like this. I was I was trying to write bitch, but niggas don't write bitch out loud. So I just spelled bit, B-I-H. And, and porn up always be trying to say, do you mean, you trying to correct me? No, I meant B-I-H. That's how we say it, nigga. Bit sucking up a nigga. Straight up. That's how I type it in. Straight up. When when that when that search result come back, bitches got buck fifties. Lace front back here. You see the glue. Eyelash extent like like the ghetto shit, man. Ghetto shit, bro. I type it all tight. Like, I type in some shit, man. My new one, you got to know how niggas talk. You just got to search that. My new joint is to search Sneaky Link. I guess that's a new term. Is that a new term? Sneaky Link, bro. Find all the good shit. <laughs> that's my Sneaky Link. I type in Sneaky Link all the time now, nigga. I ain't going to hold you, brother. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a poor uh, Sneaky Link. <laughs> sneaky Link. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog. Nigga, I'm yo, I'm yo, I'm finding the ghetto whores, bro. I don't, I don't want no good girl in there. I don't even, bro. I like, nigga. I watched the video. My one of my favorite video, nigga. I could tell the iPhone using a recorder shit is cracked. Got a cracked screen. That shit fire. Oh Lee, oh Lee, nigga. I don't want no professional camera. What the fuck is this? Is this good lighting? Is this good lighting? No, I don't want that shit. I don't want that shit. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Hell no. I be like, yo, thought getting ran upstairs at the party. Caught this bit lacking. Straight up. That's how my titles go. I, I search my shit up like that. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yo, thought getting ran by me and the gang. Like, that's how we search it. I'm sorry, bro. That's how we search it. <laughs> Yo, I'm turning out the ops, bitch. Oh, oh, perfect. 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 <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be watching that BB show shit. Some fat Indian nigga. He was fucking all the bad bitches. I don't know. What's up? <laughs> There's only one time I had a problem with a fucking video. I said, nigga, move your fucking belly that I can see the pussy and the ass crack, nigga. God damn it, nigga. How the fuck could I get a nut off 
when I'm seeing and it, the nigga's belly was mad hairy. Nigga, nigga, suck your belly and pause. <laughs> like, yo, nigga, get the fuck out the way. He's fucking all the bad Puerto Rican bitches. Dude, I'm watching, I'm like, God damn it. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, he caught some, like, he caught some Spanish joints that was good. And I'm watching him fuck these joints, and I ain't gonna lie to you. It disgusted me a little bit. Cause sometimes this fat sloppy motherfucker would sweat, and you see the sweat dropping off his fucking chest and his chin on the bed. I'm like, God damn, nigga, you fucking up the illusion that I'm in the pussy. Fuck is up with this geek, man. Fucked it up for me, bro. Nigga fucked it up. Man, I watch all them shits, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I, I, I don't know if I told y'all, but I told some people in real life. Yo, I've watched crackhead porn before. Be like, yo. And, and, and you know, sometimes people be clickbait. Nah, these are real crackheads. Be like, yo, I gave her some crack to fuck. Because these chicks, they fucking in the grass. And like, they'll actually say it like, like, crackheads are so focused on the fucking crack. They'll be like... You're not going to play me, right? Like, while they're getting fucked, like, they're trying to confirm when you're done, I'm getting this crack rock, right? I'm telling you, bro. Is that sick? Yeah, oh, missing front teeth and everything. Yo, this chick was gumming this nigga down. She was gumming that nigga to death. One of these hoes took their dentures out to do it. That's that's what I got soft. I was like, yo, uh, this, I'm, like, I'm gonna come back to the site another day. <laughs> like no lie, yo, y'all never been masturbating and there's been a mirror in the room and you and you actually see yourself in the mirror. You just you're disappointed. Like, shit, what am I doing, man? <laughs> yo, what am I doing, man? Yo, what am I doing, bro? For, hey, listen, I'm gonna keep it true. Y'all can keep lying. I'm gonna keep it true. Like, like you, you, you just caught yourself, like. Yo, what am I doing, dog? You're like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this shit right here? Yo, or like when you just nut and you feel mad embarrassed. Because <laughs> you just nutted to like a disgusting hole. But you got 3,000 pages open and this is the only shit that got you off. You feel nasty. I'm telling you. That post nut guilt is a motherfucker, man. When you're done, you think to yourself, like, yo, thank God I'm the only one that's seen this shit. Yo, Fat Boy SSC got a tape? Holy. Holy. <laughs> How is Fat Boy making money these days? Well, he raps. He was a super, you know, when Fatboy SSC, and I think this is where, like, you know, once someone makes you laugh once and they blow up, they're called an Instagram comedian. But it's very different than, you know, like, for example, the route that DC Young Fly took. Like, Young, like DC Young Fly does comedy shows. He has a comedy podcast. He did TRL. He's on Wild and Out. You know, like, it, it, he's actually, if you ask me, the new age, like, comedian. Um, Fatboy SEC got lit and like he did a bunch of clubs and he hung around rappers. That's what I be wondering about Drewski. Like, like Drewski has to know at some point you need to start doing comedy shit. Like the funny shit isn't just you being on the gram because Fatboy had that for a while when people were just like, oh my God, every time he shouts and screams, it's hilarious, but that becomes old. You got to start Positioning shit, you feel me? You know who's hilarious? I think this I think this guy is gonna be great in the future. Uh what's his name again? The 4K dude. Was it named Mark Phillips? Dude is amazing. Like really good. All his skits be on point. All his skits, like, truth be told, I think um Issa Rae just gave him, like, a production deal on HBO. Worth every penny. I hope he got paid a lot of money. I hope he got millions. 
You know why? Because that guy shows me potential that he could create with a budget and with a team what the new Chappelle is for the new era. Skits that apply to now, that apply to how people and kids are acting now. That's dope. And I'm wishing him the best of luck. I really like him. You know I me, mean? I try to, you know, I give support. All right, man, I, I was really getting off here before y'all had me going to rant about all these porn, you feel me? Why? Right, I'm going to ask y'all again, am I deleting this VOD or not, man? I'm going to have to delete this shit, right? Shit, a Twitch moderator watch this shit, man. What the fuck this nigga talking about? Did he say he watched crackhead porn? Oh, hell no. Let's get this nigga out of here, man. <laughs> now, I think we're good. I think we're good, honestly. Other than that, other than that, that that part, which I, I'm pretty sure, like I've played music videos that that just have that amount of, um, like women kind of dancing in in pretty much underwear. All right, yeah, nah, nah, nah. People say, people are saying delete. People are saying delete. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Y'all win, y'all win. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna s drill 420. Hopefully, you got everything that you can upload to YouTube. But I, I usually put like an archive copy anyway, in private, in case I need to reference anything. So, all right, chat. I love y'all. 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 Um, listen. If y'all do go to Pornhub, man. Just tell them that I sent you. Yo, I got a Brazzers account for y'all. Unlimited everything. <laughs> Only thing is, like, it's too, like, professional, man. It's too professional. You, you know what, what type of point I've been watching recently? The amateur joints where the where girls are fucking in the room where their friends is at. Like, a chick was just having a conversation with her girlfriend in the room and just taking dick casually. I'm like, Fuck. It's crazy. Anyway, all right. Get off here. Get off here. Get off here. Peace. Love you.